All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing well. We are back with some Age of Empires. Should be quite a bit of fun. And we are going to be doing an FFA to open things up. So for anybody who's interested, we're going to have the dreaded uh, two-hour warm-up FFA, which is always fun. We'll get into some 1v1s after that and then maybe close out with some more FFAs. How you guys doing? Welcome. I know it's been a couple days. Sorry for the uh, kind of the delay there. <clears throat> Obviously, Total War is one of my main jams, and there's been a lot going on there, but as things do slow down and bounce out a little bit, we'll be, of course, still covering the age. So Turin FFA is going to be the name. The lobby is open, and we will be doing a Mega Random, and I'll be going Random Civ, because I think that's one of the more fun ways to play this game mode. So, All right, anybody's welcome to join up that wants to. Let's get this party started. Um, all right, here we go. And just setting something up here. Of course. There we go. Perfect. I know it's been a while, man. I miss you guys. Oh, what the hell is this? Allied has like a like an orca as his picture. Look at that. He's got like a, a breaching whale there. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a there's a lot of new pictures. I'm gonna keep the loyal basset hound. He's he's been my pal for many a day. Mongols are very, very good in FFA, actually. The fact that they get infinite stone basically when the white stupa is is very good. Okay, we got one spot left. We got Super Oxide. We got uh, Bug Eyes here. We got Rebel, Allied Trex, Gravity, and the Predator. It's going to be trying to get a wonder in the corner, I would imagine. We know the schemes are here. And all the spots are full. All right, I will play purple, the sneakiest color. Hopefully we don't have like a drop or a debug or something right now. A set no teams. And play anything you want. So we'll just let people play whatever they want. I myself am going to go random because I think it's fun. And by random, I mean a Bassid. That's usually what we get. Some things never change. Welcome, welcome. All right, so it looks like almost everybody is set to no team. We just got to get Rebel, Bug Eyes here, and a couple more people. I wish as the host of the lobby, you could like manually change things. Like in terms of like teams and all that, it would be really nice for like organizing. In another life, perhaps. All right, so we just have one person who has the, uh, the team's incorrect, so that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so why can't we start? So we're on a mega random map, okay. It's large, which is eight player. Huh, you guys see this? I can't, I can't start. Chad's assemble, oh, somebody didn't have the, somebody didn't have the mod or something. They were missing something. Anyways, we got one spot open. Here to rescue and save you from work boredom. I got you covered. Yeah, I got you covered. We'll get you through work, my friend. Don't you worry. <laughs> Play the green skins. Yeah, that'd be fun. Dude, I've been having so much fun with Total War. The fact that we got all these Immortal Empires factions back, it's just like, oh, it's it's just just how we remembered it. It's been so much fun. It's been so much fun. All right, one spot open. Who is going to be the champion that joins here? It looks like we were not able to start because of that uh, that player. Maybe they're turning off some mods or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, really excited. We got Nemo. All right, Nemo. So go ahead and set no teams, please. And we will start. Although I guess we could start right away. It looks like Nemo's going to be going random as well. And yeah, he's the only person who has the auto teams on. Going to be going with the dreaded English, I suppose. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yes, Nemo, you made it. Your eyes do not deceive you. Welcome to the lobby. And uh, we got Holy Romans here. So I think the only one is going random. We have a pretty good spread of factions, though. I think we even have a Delhi player from uh, Allied, of course. Looking to have some fun, play China and build only Fire Lancers and Nesta Bs. That could, that could probably work, actually. That could probably work. The only issue you might have is like enemy cab diving you. Fire Lancers have pretty bad DPS against like heavy cab, like knights and things like that. They're okay against light armor. Like, you know, if they can rear charge or, well, I suppose rear charging isn't as important, but if they can catch spears embraced or archers or, you know, lawns neck, so they can do some, they can do some serious work for sure. So. Oh, look at that baby. We finally got a good save at FFA. Oh yeah, sign me up. We got the Chinese baby. I always get a basset. I deserve this. I've suffered so much. The only thing is, this is going to put a little bit of a target on my head since I'm Chinese, but we also have another Chinese player. We have an English player, some Holy Romans. There's a lot of very powerful FFA civs in here, so I think we are A-OK. -okay. Yeah, FFAs are great fun, man. They are. I agree 100%. Annie, thank you for the fiber. He says... Thanks for the streams. Always relaxing with your streams after work. I got you covered. Hopefully work wasn't too rough for you today. Yeah, it's been super hot here. I would imagine uh, it's still really hot over in the UK. How's, uh, how's the heat treating all you folks over in Europe? I heard there's been some pretty big heat waves, but it's been about 
Yeah, it's been about 30 here, 31, if we're talking European kind of measurements. But uh, as far as, yeah, I guess what we're used to, it's uh, it's been about between 90 and 96 on a daily basis. It's been pretty rough for sure. It's been pretty rough. That's why I've been getting up and streaming at like 7 or 8 a.m. because it's actually cool then. So I'm not just going to be sweating and melting in my lair. AoE4 is going to be at Gamescom. People will be saying, people say we'll have three new civs. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I mean, that would be huge. That would really, really be big. I'd be super excited to cover cover that and get into the new civs and host all these fun tournaments again and roasting over in the UK. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yannick, hope you're doing well over in Germany. I always, uh, whenever I go to Poland, my wife is from Poland, and uh, when we used to travel there a lot back in the day, we used to always land in Germany, do like layovers there. It's comfortable now. Rain cooled it down. That's good to hear. Glad to hear that, Nakamura. Glad to hear that. So Chinese, Chinese, the predator with the dreaded potato load speed. He's going to be on the Mongols. Yeah, predators. Is you guys remember the last half of phase we had here? He's like always like hiding in the hiding and just impossible to finish off, and is always a threat with wonders. And yeah, it's wild. I'm Scandinavian. Anything above ten is horrible. Yeah, yeah, you would melt here for sure, dude. You would melt. It would uh, it would not be pleasant. I think he's still loading. And the way to check it is you just put your mouse like on the, the tip of the loading bar and, and you can actually like see if it's moving. Okay, yeah, he actually is loading. It's just very, very slow. He's got a hamster pulling his uh, running in a wheel in his PC, getting it going. Yeah, I, I, I'm. they will release new civs, Cash. I would wager that's going to happen. Oh my god, how do I play this game again? It's been, it's been, it's been a long time. Uh, do I need a second scout? I guess it's not a bad idea to just get some vision. But that's like more of a 1v1 thing, right? To have the second scout. But yeah, we're going to go for the berry bushes and then we'll get you. Perfect. And we're going to supervise that. And then we'll bring the sheep back and we should be okay. It feels so weird. It's a good thing I did a warm-up game. If I went straight into 1v1, I would be I would be struggling for sure. You know, we could even do like a, like a weird pro scouts type build or something. I always like think in FFA that pro scouts could be a lot better. Simply because it's uh, let's get you turn this in, do that. Oh, look at the the dreaded sheep up in the hills here, because like nobody's gonna contest those, right? It's just gonna be kind of like fair game. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of sheep up here in the hills. Okay, so I kind of have a corner position. If nobody is indeed in that other side, then we're gonna be sitting pretty, I would say, and we'll get a supervisor. What do they cost? A hundred? Okay, perfect. So, so grab the sheep, and then let's go scout the corner. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, I guess I'm gonna get a lot more sheep than everybody. So we got that going for us. Uh, I'll probably go with the taxation build just so I can get like a like a really efficient 2TC or something. I think that could be wor worth doing. Oh my god, we are just the dark lords of sheep today. Okay, so we do have somebody in the corner. It's gonna be Super Oxide on the Abbasid. So gotta, gotta put some respect on his name. And we're about to get that supervisor out. So let's get you down here. We can check the corner, see if anybody else has spawned there. And great. So he's going to supervise. He can collect taxes. Do that. Come back. Do this. Get more bills coming this way. And we'll go and scout the corner here. Oh my god. We have, dude, we have gotten so many sheep. Yeah, we got an okay spot. We're not truly in the corner. We have somebody flanking us, but it's still... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Well, we know what we're doing. We're going to go get some fishing going here in a minute. Wait, for a second, I thought that was an enemy. Uh, like the enemies were like in my lumber line with like their own villagers. Man, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, no, this is good though. We we definitely have some nice deep water fishing here, so we're gonna go for that. Like, it would be stupid not to. And uh, let's go ahead and supervise the lumber, pull you over here. So we don't need to check as quickly now, now that we see this. It'll be a little bit slower in terms of our age too, but um, let's just go ahead and check down here. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set up docks. We really, really wanna get the dock action going. We also got a lot of sheep too, so like we, we have several food sources to kind of work through here. All right, so let's go see who's down here. Get kind of a bearing of the land. Yeah, it's it's a blessed position, I would say. It's a blessed position. Hey, Steve, I'm I'm, I'm glad uh, I'm glad we got some Age of Empires for you, but I hope you feel better, man. Hope you feel better. All right, so let's head over here. Get one of these guys. We drop off the hordes of sheep, the unholy masses of sheep. Look at this river. This thing like goes all the way across. No, it's not connected. Okay, that's fine. So let's go see who else is around us here. Get a little bit of vision on the map. Let's go just scout over here. So we got red here. Okay, so red is the Holy Romans, and that's going to be Rebel. The dreaded Rebel is here. Okay. And uh, I think we have some deep water like over there, so we'll set it up like so. Cool. So start collecting taxes again, buddy. 
we can build another official. I think it's uh, okay. We're going to go for a very, very, like, I would say risky build of sorts, but should be fine. We'll eventually get there through taxation. So, supervise. Let's go see where we are. So, we have two neighbors, which is always fun. China, probably just going to go, like, fast amp or something like that. Let's get those fishing boats going. Perfect. Dude, yeah, we got a lot of sheep. We really, really nailed the sheep game pretty good. So, let's see what kind of vision we can get on the map. We'll go, like, behind red and see what's over here. Uh, end up being allowed to stream IE. No, I can stream IE, but I wanted to, you know, take a little bit of a break and do some age, you know. Yeah, I'll be, I'll do, I did two tournament streams like two days in a row, basically. So uh, we'll be back streaming uh, Immortal Empires tomorrow. We're going to start a new campaign of some sort. I don't know what yet, but we're going to do something. I'll, I was thinking Valkia for a campaign. I thought that would be very fun. Yeah, I can't, can't abate, uh, I can't abandon the age family here. I love this. I love playing this game and it's so fun doing FFAs and all that with you, you folks. Okay, so we got that set up. We do have another official, so he's going to go here. So we got the double supervise. 6 and 19 here. And we might need to mine a little bit of gold naturally, because otherwise it's going to take forever. Okay, there's a naval trading post. Wow, that's a power play. Like, naval trade on the south side of the map there. That's, a, that's really something. All right, so fishing boats. Let's grab a couple of you guys. Do this. Head up here. They can go jump on that, and we should be fine. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Here is Allied Trex. It's the deli. We're gonna have so much food as long as we just like turbo turbo launch ourselves in, into the gold department. We should be fine. All right. Let's have you, and you guys can collect taxes here. Perfect. Come on, buddy. Bring it back. Yes, yeah, he's already got a dock going as well. Yeah, that naval trade route is so good. Like Rebel is gonna be so stoked if that's allowed to if that's allowed to go on. So here we're gonna go ahead and get the Imperial Academy to give us the extra taxation. With China, it doesn't really matter if you fall a little bit behind in terms of uh, you know landmarks and things like that. Uh, that's pretty good. That's gonna hit both. Yeah, nice. All right, because they build things 100% faster, right? So that's gonna be very nice. An Archeon playthrough. Yeah, maybe I'll just put a poll up in the channel, see what you guys wanna see. That could be fun. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we see the Mongols up in the north. That is a pretty blessed position, though. Like, red, red has got a really good position. We might have to get a little bit aggressive there. We'll have to see. Get a village set up. China, of course, has all the goodies. And do we want another fishing boat coming out? Yeah, we can do one more fishing boat. That's fine. Oh, is he collecting taxes? Okay, that's fine. That'll help speed things along a little bit. All right, so the tax man cometh. Seems good. Turbo, I know. We're, we're, we're doing good. Turbo building here. Yes. We're going to go really fast castle, though. Um, I don't think 2TC is as necessary, considering we have a, a fishing dock. So I think we're I think we're okay there. So we'll get some of you guys here. We'll keep a couple on wood. We'll get some of you guys on the sheep. Get the wheelbarrow. Yeah, so we have a pretty good idea of where everybody is on the map. We've had good scouting. And uh, let's supervise that. And then we probably want to get another supervisor as well. So we can set up the... I wonder if we're going to get rushed. I don't think so. Re the fact that Rebel went for a dock probably means we're pretty okay here. Song Dynasty. We could also go Barbecue of the Sun. Um, barbecue wouldn't be necessarily be terrible. In case there's like some weird early aggression or something. And Song is just always pretty useful. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's, uh, let's get the Barbecue of the Sun right here. That'll protect our gold and uh, we'll unlock the dreaded Song Dynasty. Okay. All these attack notifications stressing me out. Let's go to the top. Looks like we're probably going to lose that one. Which is okay. Let's pull you guys in and we can... You know what? Screw it. Let's go 2TC. Yeah, let's 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 just be really, really be greedy here. Okay, so Taxman, you do this. We can get the Imperial Official so they can carry more. I guess that's somewhat useful. We don't need textiles quite yet. <laughs> Why AOE when we could always work our through with Pwn for one third of yours? <laughs> that's what he says. That's pretty funny, Pwn. How you doing, Pwn? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so the barbecue is on the way. Uh, we see a lot of relics on the map. The thing, like, I wanted to go fast castle to get the relics, but when you're playing China, man, it just feels like such a mistake to not go for the uh, go for the multiple uh, TCs, especially if you're going to be going song like this. Yeah, it just feels like a big mistake. All right, so do that. Set up a little bit of a, a wall down there, I suppose. Although, uh, do we really need to? It's not a one v one. I don't think I'm going to be getting like cap harassed and all that kind of stuff. Although you never know, the HRE can go fast castle and have knights in your base in like a couple seconds if you're not careful. 
All right, so he doesn't need to be supervising this. He should be supervising that, actually. The barbican is almost done. We got workers on the hardwood. We do have the wheelbarrow. And uh, fishing upgrades, eh, could be okay. Let's get the extended fishing lines. I think we have a little bit of time. Yeah, Dune, Dune is always fun, too. When they add some new stuff to Dune, we'll get back to covering that. When they add, like, the, uh, the Emperor's house, I think it'll be very fun. All right, so let's get more fishing boats coming out. Although, that does kind of slow down our business here, so let's cut that. Uh, yeah, we can cut that for now. All right, we almost have enough for the second TC. Uh, people are actually starting to reach Castle Age, including our Holy Roman neighbors. So that's that's kind of what I was worried about, right? Is that they're going to just karate chop us in the Castle Age here. Okay, let's turn in here. Do we have a wood turn in, please, for the love of the gods? And uh, yeah, right here is fine. Screw it. All right, great. So now you guys, uh, we have enough on gold. We can switch some of you onto food. Bring you in to supervise there. And now we just go castle age ourselves, and we should be okay. We got Song Dynasty as well, so we're going to have, like, just huge villager production coming up. Okay, let's get another village here. We got the walls finished. Okay, did that actually seal on the bottom? I don't think it did. It doesn't look like it's fully closed. Oh, I guess it is. Okay. Yeah, so relics are going to start disappearing. I'd be surprised if we get any. Like, we have a lot of, it would seem, good players in this game, so... I'm not, I'm not counting on uh, getting any relics here. I don't know why I'm still gathering stone, but... Yeah. We can just gather stone a little bit passively. Well, eventually, uh, once we get Castle Age, we switch into heavy wood production, so we can switch into the Chinese uh, farm economy with the uh, with the granaries, which is insanely good. So let's go down here, see what they're up to. Very, very close to getting where we want to be. Let's get some more fishing boats. Plenty of fish in this sea. Do I want to, like, wall off some of these relics? Hmm. Oh my god, wait. What the hell's happening here? Allied Trex went for a triple cap on the sacred sites? Dude, what is this? What is this witchcraft? Oh my god. Alright, pretty darn close to getting there. We'll just pull these stone workers. Yeah, Allied is going for the double cap. Now, am I going to make the mistake of just like hoping somebody else deals with it? Probably, I think so. Because I'm kind of checking, so I don't want to I don't want to have to build any military units at this point. So let's go um, put this down here. The reason why is because, you know, we want to kind of split up our landmarks a little bit. And now we're just going to switch onto wood pretty hard. So let's grab all you guys, do this. We can go here. And now we're going to kind of start switching into the uh, to the farm economy here. So we can do, uh, let's see, one, and we'll get a, just a ton of farms there. I don't even have any military units yet, so uh, not not a whole lot I could do there, I suppose. Although we can get some calf. We'll get some, uh, we'll get like a couple loose calf units here. Not that China does like Lancers particularly well, but I mean, they do do Fire Lancers well, right? But um, we need to update that too. Cool. All right, so you just go collect taxes, buddy. Bring some gold back for the Dragon Emperor. Yeah, it's a, I'll send some cab over there. Okay, somebody's already decapping one. That's good. So that's that's going down. And you can come supervise this to get the extra gold. Make some more boats. We got that being supervised. Life is good. And uh, yeah, we could do a little bit of a Chinese funny business here. And we want to set you up. These granaries, if possible. So one and one. All right, and you guys can jump onto food here. Looks like they are being decapped, which is good. And now we we just like eco China, like eco China hard in the paint. So one and one. So we can build like palace guard lancers or something like that for our army for now. Although if we do end up fighting the HRE, we're gonna need crossbows. So yeah, we'll have to see. All right, let's build some some knights just so we have a little something something. And uh, cool. So we're gonna just get this going, man. We're, we that's why we're just going so ape on the food here. Or on the wood. Yeah, you can see our wood income is just absolutely nuts. When is Zhao Ming coming? He's coming soon, don't worry. He'll be here. He'll, the wrath of the Dragon Emperor will be known across all the lands. Alright. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And let's get you guys going in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So yeah, this is going to really, really just sauce up our food economy like super hard when we get this. We also need to make sure we get the, the food harvesting upgrades. Okay, so it looks like uh, we can send a knight over. Because, you know, we still don't want our opponents to get, like, a ton of free resources, right? So, one, two. Yeah, we might need a little crossbow action against the Holy Romans in the south. Oh, that's right, I should probably, should probably build something for the relics. All right, get that down here. I think there's still a relic down in the south. There's actually a couple in the middle that appear to still be hanging out. So, you know, let's go park a knight near one of those relics and see if we can maybe get a little bit lucky and, you know, get our paws on those. 
Holy Romans here. They got some keeps. I would have like that's always a good idea to attack Holy Romans, like in when you're looking for relics because they're usually gonna like their whole game plan is gonna be centered around them, right? Okay, so let's set up some more farms. One of our knights is gonna be decapping that. We have a knight sitting here, and I believe we should have our religious building now. So. Yeah, see, look, there's an enemy horseman there. It's a good thing I sent the big Chad Knight to go deal with that. Alright, so we can have some guys getting on stone here. Looks like we've chased them off. He's going to be decapping that sacred site. And the religious characters are now on the way. Holy Romans are still being very, very chill in their realm, in their realm here, but... The Chinese dreaded farm economy is very, very scary. Especially if you want to supervise them, too. You can, you can supervise them with the uh, officials and... Get a ton of work going. Okay, so we see one relic is somewhat secured. Is there another relic nearby that I can kind of jump on? It doesn't look like it. So, looks like I'm mainly going to be getting two relics here. Okay, so I believe we finished the guy. Yeah, we did. So, uh, you, oh, no, that relic got snatched, I think. No, it's still there. I think it's still there. I don't know, the fog of war it might be gone. Let's go send someone over to go check. There, there are many relic thieves around us. China doesn't necessarily, like, need them super hard, but, you know, it's... uh. You know, it's always nice to have, so. So we'll get that macro machine going. Get some nest of bees on the way as well. Just just great in general. Wait, did this relic get jacked from under my nose? How the hell did that happen? He was like standing on it. Oh my god, alright. Alright, so let's get this. Head back to the base. And did somebody jack this one? Yeah, somebody did. Okay, so it was, we know who it was. It was Super Oxide up in the corner there. So, yeah, I, I obviously, going to TC, am going to be kind of slow in that game. All right, so let's set that up. There's no relics here. Poor monks, they're just all sad. I guess we can go for some of the sacreds. Watch, I, I'm going to leave this for like one second and just, just totally be screwed. Alright, so let's get you guys on the farm economy here. Get a couple of you going up on the gold. We could unlock the Fire Lancer dynasty if we want to, but I think we'll just get like a big army now. Cool. And we get some more archer ranges, no problem. Let's go ahead and set up a gatehouse here. Upgrades. So now like, now that we got all this going, China China can go pretty bananas. Like, when you get that Chinese macro machine going, man, it is, it is, uh, it is unrivaled, for sure. Alright, so you up. Set you up like so. Get these nice wall networks going. You're going to need another village here. Let's set that up. Perfect. And I believe we actually got a relic. Good, we did. Nice. And there should be a monk coming across with us. Yeah, so we're going to grab some sacreds. Just kind of see what we can get done. We did get a relic there, which is nice. I know. I got relic jacked so hard, guys. I got trolled. What can you do, man? What can you do? I deserve it. So in terms of resources over here, there's actually not a whole lot. So what we'll do is we'll just wall this to be kind of safe here. We have this dreaded fisherman. Huh? Just make a ton of units. Do we have a gold node still? We do. And we need another official. So he's supervising. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Although we need to update this. Let's go supervise that. Do you have a couple knights? And yeah, our economy is nuts now. China's economy is just insane. Like, you can just explode so far ahead of everybody. Like, we... Yeah, em Oh, Imperial Age coming in from Nemo. Okay. Nemo is playing, uh... Holy Romans. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's not so scary then. Like, it's... it's Well, it's still scary, but... It's pretty normal for Holy Romans to do that. Alright, so set up some gatehouses here. I could build the Imperial Palace. Um, where do I want to build that? It does... I think it gives you a bunch of vision of the map now as well. Yeah. Has a large sight radius, yeah. So we could build that like, kind of like as a forward landmark, I suppose. Just to give us vision to the center of the map. I kind of like that idea. It's a little bit exposed to being sniped, obviously, but I'm going to have more landmarks to build in the Imperial Age. I'll have two more, so. Okay, looks good. All this is coming along. We'll probably get ready for war now. I don't know who you want to go after. Super Oxide is a Bastard? Okay. And then Rebel is Holy Romans. They're both relatively threatening, right? Super Oxide has reached the next age. We have some wild battle sheep up here. What the hell is this? You guys seeing this shit? Oh my god, he wants he wants the wah, huh? Okay, I'm down to, I'm down to fight, dude. I'm down to fight. I am down for this. 
Okay, let's get you guys, and then we need to go find some other lumber. Oh my god. Well, let's get these spears upgraded, since that's clearly what he's doing. It's a good thing I built an army. I was I was on the fence about it, but he's going to lose a lot of production infrastructure here now, for sure. Uh, we can go imp soon. Nice. Look at the sight radius we get from this. Okay, we can see what his economy looks like. He's got a... Okay, you know what? I have, I have a fun little idea, actually. So let's have you go collect some taxes. You come here. Let's get a bow, Chad. And uh, just hit the river. Terran, can you go kill your avidy on the other side? Bro, you're building, like, stables up in my base! I thought he's, he wants to be friends! But his actions uh, certainly speak differently. The Great Wall Gatehouse can be built. Um, hmm, where do we want to build this? The Great Wall Gatehouse, probably right here, isn't a bad idea. So let's get some stone walls, and that can be our landmark. Yeah, so it looks like your avidy's going after him. Oh, Rebel is dying right now. Okay, so we don't need to... Yeah, we don't need to we don't need to dogpile on him here. So let's get the Great Wall Gatehouse and build that like so. And build it like so. And now I guess I need to go after Pink, it looks like. I wanna be aggressive, you know, I don't wanna just be sitting and chilling. Let's get the speed for the artillery. We've got the Great Wall Gatehouse coming up here. And uh the Bow Chad will be Imperial Age Tech, so we should have that relatively soon. Towers. We'll head to the north. And yeah, we have a we have a pretty good macro machine going here. So let's get you, get the palace guard upgraded. And you guys can go to the middle. I'd like to set up some keeps. Is there any stone I can just like absolutely hammer here? It's mostly just gold. Okay. So we're just gonna go punish these gold nodes a little bit. Let's head to the north, see what Super Oxide's up to. Let's put his let's put his macro to the chest. Yeah, so red is actually in Mortal Kombat with somebody. Yeah, the Chads are just so expensive, guys. They're so expensive. Um, can also get a uni here. Pagoda is not really, like, super nice, because we only have one. But we'll see if the Chinese can, you know, pay a little bit of a visit here to our friends. We'll get the army tactics soon. Moving on over. I know, these guys have been practicing. I got, I got, I got to catch up a little bit, huh? Okay, he's making camel riders. Let's see what his army looks like. Veteran camels, okay. They're raiding my, my fishing fleet here. So yeah, we should be able to just mow down these camels. They're they're not very strong. Uh, we'll get some hand cannoneers as well. Take you guys out. He's looks like he's going after my nest of bees, but not gonna have enough Jacka. And you know he is playing a Bassid, which is unfortunate, which means that we could probably just kill his landmarks and that'll be the end of the road. Let's get the army tactics. And uh, we want to get the Imperial upgrades. Yeah, he's trading pretty nicely, it looks like. Yeah, he's got a nice little trade economy here. Uh, do we have enough for a Bombard? We don't. Not at the moment. So, yeah, 132 bills is a little bit too heavy duty. You guys can go... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, just get on wood, I guess. So Rebel has been eliminated, so it looks like uh, folks are paying the troll toll around the map. Just got to kill these units as they keep popping out here. Elite Palace Guard. Oh! Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That's where all the relics went. Look at him. Look, he's trying to hide him. Not in my house. Those relics belong to me. Okay, he's trying to will alone me here. So we can just, like, scoot up and pop this guy. Oh, don't want to give him any units. wonder where he's going with those relics. All right, cool. So he's building a keep back here. <laughs> Super Oxide's like, help me, I'm too weak. All right, I love it. So we just need to guard these relics, and uh, let's grab you, buddy. You can come up here, grab this, and uh, the thing about FFA is like nobody's typically going to help you. Yeah, we have a couple uh, loose horsemen in the base here. Have way too many woodworkers, so let's uh, delete some of those guys. So this is his main TC, which is going to be a little bit hard to get to, but it's okay. Get the reload time of bombards. Um, seems pretty good. We got most of the key upgrades we want. Do we want to get the uh, gathering rate for villagers based on each dynasty? I think that's going to be pretty strong. So let's have you supervise this, buddy, for the extra food. I don't know where his... Oh, he built it in the back here. Okay, so we know where his other landmark is. So yeah, the, the, the relic thing here is just too good to pass up on. 
Do I hear bombards? Could have sworn I just heard a bombard cannon. I just want these relics. I want the juicy relics. Okay, so let's uh, just keep taking out the production here. Do this. Back you go, buddy. Oh man, and there's another relic here. This is this is huge for us. This is huge for here. Let's pop this to see where everybody's at. Seems okay. I don't think we have any bombards coming up, unfortunately, though. So that's gonna take a little bit longer to take them out here. Let's run some of these villagers here. Keep the relics in peace. Okay, so if you're listening, Oxide, if you can make a convincing case as to why I should let you live, then maybe, maybe I will hear you. Yeah, well, we don't want tithe barns yet because we don't have the relics like in the. Although I guess we could preemptively get it. Yeah, whatever. Let's just start on it. Um, taking down that keep's gonna be a pain. He's actually got triple keep back here. Because he was stealing all the stone from me, so. Alright, so let's grab you. Do this, do this. Grab an official who's not doing anything and have him come supervise this. Oh, hold on. You can supervise that. Perfect. Alright, we got a siege workshop on the way. What's going on over here? Yeah, he's still raiding my water. There's not really, like, too much reason to have mercy, you know? Unless, like, I was losing at home. Okay, let's grab this relic, come down here, drop that off. Those guys have jumped here. We have a lot of upgrades we want to do. Do we want to get elite fire lancers? It's kind of a fun idea. You're both Chad's and the Silk Rune. Uh, dude, don't make me feel bad with these great this great role playing, man. Now I feel like a villain. You know? Just feel all villainous and Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna get pagodas. It's it's gonna happen. He's got so many keeps, man. So let's just assault the keep. Oh my god, look how Helm's Deep he is in the back. I know he would come back to betray me later. I just know it would happen. Ah, we're getting a little bit of damage on this bad boy. Let's get those bombards moving over here. Even though that was a really good one, I, I can't. I just can't. Because that, that, like, that, I could just straight up lose the game because of that. Okay, let's get you guys and some hand cannoneers. We have a great wall coming in from Uravity on the other side. Uh, do I have any markets? I don't at the moment. Hmm. Pagoda should be here soon. Keeps are being knocked down. God, Super Oxide making me feel all bad, dude. I hate it. Let the hate flow? Yeah, the hate's flowing. I don't want it to, but it is. Alright, so let's take that down. Oh, hello. Okay. So we need to macro some units home here. He might be able to... Yeah, we're about to get hurt. Dove a little bit. Um, I do need a marketplace. So let's get a market going here. Alright, so it looks like there's a Chinese invasion force coming. So we'll just macro these units at home and we should be okay. Get some spears going too. Okay, so we get some repairs on this if possible. China's coming, yeah. Okay. You know what? So he might actually end up living. Because I gotta focus on this shit at home now. We gotta we gotta get the, the crew going. Get that in the pagoda. I should be able to take this army. It looks like it's mostly cast like castle age stuff. I don't think he's upgraded a whole bunch. So at least we're uh, we're we're nearby here and we, we're ready to go. Okay. Do this. Here he comes. We stand at the ready. This is this is a win-win because then I sp I score some points with Oxide. I score some friendship points, right? Yeah. This is this is good. All right. So let's get you up here. Got 39 vills. So let's have you guys just annihilate some of the gold nodes in the middle. Need to get that gold income back online here. Yeah. Food should be pretty good. Economy's decent. A little bit too heavy. Uh, I think we can take this army. 30 crossbows. Yeah, we have palace guard and spear. It should be okay. So he's rebuilding. Teal's hanging out in the bushes here. I'm down to go take this fight. Look at this. This is pretty funny, huh? We must fight for the gold scraps. Alright, so let's macro out the reinforcements here. Let's fight this because if we can catch it, if we can win this and get his trebuchets. Okay, so the hand cannoneers I think will be the deciding factor here. We definitely need more macro infrastructure. 
Ah, you know what? Maybe, maybe we don't win this. The hand cannoneers are doing good though. They're killing a lot of these really expensive knights. Okay, I think we, I think we got the momentum. Plus, we have the home field advantage though. Okay, yeah, we won it. Cool. Yeah, I think we, I think we're just more upgraded. Got to push these guys back to the shadow realm. What the hell is this? Oh my god, look, he, when I wasn't paying attention, he started torching my shit. Alright, no problem. So that fight went well. Pretty decisive victory. But our army is kind of crappy right now. Uh, we need to just get control over the center, if possible. Let's build some cannon towers here. Spring towers. I need to, I need to probably finish him off, because he's gonna, even though he's like, you know... Acting like my homie, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get a little bit nasty when uh, when the <laughs> when the fighting starts here. All right, let's buy a market. So not too much shown to the map. Okay, so that's been done. Let's get you guys and start building towers like through here, just kind of like a little like border buffering. And it looks like we have a breach in our walls here. Oh no, there's a gatehouse. Okay, cool. So I'm not a complete idiot then. All right, so the Abbasid Empire is resecuring its lands. Thankfully for me, I know that they only have like one or two. Uh... What is this in the middle? Yeah, the, that's the, actually the Abbasid here. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so he's taking a lot of the gold. I can't, I can't have him be the boy who got away. You know, like the one who comes back to just like execute, like take me down in my older years, which is exactly what I think would happen. You gotta, you gotta pretend to be sparing him. I know. He actually rebuilt stone walls and shit too. Yeah, he's, he's. That last relic he's got there is very, very juicy, though. Okay, so we haven't unlocked the Fire Lancer Dynasty. Let's get a cannon tower here. Uh, I'll take you guys, do this. Let's go grab some stone. Stone's a pretty sparse resource. Could have sworn there was a Bombard Cannon on the way here. Looks like it, okay. Delete some of you guys. Still have too many bills. And we did get this cannon out, so this is nice, so we can actually start, like, bombarding all this. Oh, look, look, the prelate's trying to get the relic back! Look, look, he's trying to get it back! Oh, I can't reach him. Oh, he's too fast. Well, that relic can sit there and, and hang out with us for a period of time. Did anybody ever come over to the bushes to make these, like I told them? I don't think so. It's so one, two... Wow, he's coming back to fight again? Okay, it looks like I might have to actually go after Teal, as much as I, I wanted to finish off Super Oxide here. Okay, let's see what's up. Yeah, because I just saw a Teal army moving in the in the bushes here. We'll see how his macro is. He's at the gates. He's got a much better army this time. Yeah, he's got a much better army. But again, we have home field advantage, so I think we should be okay. So maybe we want to get some stables. Wouldn't be a bad idea. To get like fire lancers and things like that, maybe. The thing is, like, if Super Oxide gets back online, I guarantee you I'm going to be getting backstabbed at some point. Let's get the mine eco upgrades while we're here. Can't use the palace at the moment. Uh, looks like we do not have a gatehouse there either. So let's get our cav updated. Yeah, cool. And we probably want to get biology. Well, I can't go. I I can't get everyone at once. You know, it's it's not. Like, if I go too far in one way... Yeah, I think he had trebuchets being set up, so let's set up, like, a keep, like, right here. I think that'd be pretty nice. Let's grab you guys. They can help with that. Let's bring the army up and around. Turret <laughs> has betrayed us? What? Where's this coming from, dude? Where, where, did, where did my grand betrayal fit into this story? Okay, so I see his army. His army might beat mine, but um, the advantage we have is the home field, so we can macro stuff out and hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, his army's better than mine right now, actually. He's got like a lot of palace guard and pretty good artillery and everything. Uh, he only has one trev, though. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to lose a lot here, but hopefully we'll do a little bit of damage. As long as we just keep our hand cannoneers, then that's the important part. Because we could just kind of keep gadding these guys down, sacrificing Spearmen, and he's going to be losing, like, valuable frontliners. Alright, so this, and we want to get Fire Lancers. 
So I think that'll be pretty good. Let's torch this down if we can. Okay, let's gather up team. Let's set this up. Get you guys here. Uh, we need to get a gatehouse so the troops don't have to like run around like the million mile here to uh, get to us. Okay, a lot of bombard cannons coming. Okay, so it's just going to be a Chinese civil war then. The Wa is on. Should be using my supervisors a little bit better. It's okay though. Alright, let's blast that nest of bees before it can get used. Perfect. Getting a lot of Daka here. Uh, I don't think the keep is going to finish. I don't think it is. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll give it a try. We do have a lot of these hand cannoneers who are very, very strong. He has a combination of what appears to be Zhugnu. Let's take that out if we can. How's the front line doing? Holding. Holding okay. Alright, Palace Guard. Come on, guys. Keep it coming. Ah, uh, he did get the keep. Yeah, I guess he's got a bunch of bombards there, so that was to be expected. I guess this is going to be a test of, like, who has the, the really happy gold situation, right? Mm, we're getting momentum with these Fire Lancers in the mix, actually. They're not doing a ton of damage, but they are, like, absorbing the shots. We need to actually do this. Hold on, I have an idea. So let's get you guys down here. Okay, Palace Guard, if we can just get the advantageous trade here. We still do have a lot of gold being mined, which is nice. Okay, I think the momentum might have just shifted, plus we have these cannon towers. Yeah, you can see. We've gotten into the into the lines here. Mass horsemen would actually be decent here too. Alright, so the momentum has shifted again. Let's get the math, uh, last upgrades here. Okay, we need to move this cannon out of the gatehouse that's blocking our reinforcements. Thankfully, no other fighting going on. Okay, we got a mass route. So now we just dive the artillery. It, it, with China, it, winning in uh, Chinese like mirror grind is going to come down to who has better gold, basically. So another bombard bites the dust. Another bombard bites the dust there. Very good. And... Where can we go, actually? Hmm. Does that go all the way down here? I think it does. So you, my friend, can go here. Try a little bit of this. Okay, so how's it looking in the middle? Nothing too serious. We can... His base is all the way over here, so we could, like, push this direction, I guess. And you guys, let's just get you on some random wood. What the hell is this? There's, like, a purple army here. Do you guys see this? Predator is just randomly down here. Oh, he's Mongols. He's torching buildings. Okay, that makes more sense now. That makes all the sense in the world. Our eco is still a little bit too strong. Uh, we could probably afford to cut some gold workers. Okay, let's head this way. Let's get horsemen upgrade, start queuing those guys up, and we can go ahead and delete these. Probably should get the spirit way, I just don't know where to build it. I wanted to build it like somewhere secret and safe, but there there really isn't uh, such a place at the moment. Okay, so let's do this and this. So we're gonna build a keep here just so we have like a beachhead upon which to which to fight. Mongols are torching buildings. We're going to try and get a little bit of uh, that action going. The Spirit Way will unlock the final dynasty, which will give us military unit health. Yeah, we want that. That's really good. Alright, so let's move you cannons up. We have a good army. Pretty respectable. Yep, he's losing some bills. Target this down. Yeah, the problem is the, problem is the ambassador going to backstab me later. Can I get... Can I see this? I, have I ever told you guys how much I hate stealth forests in this game? Like how just how I loathe loathe them. That should be some pretty cost-effective uh, action we have here, though. Should really really be good. Okay, so we're gonna get a tower set up so I can actually see. And uh, as far as forward supply lines go, I could do it. Yeah, I think we're fine though. And uh, I don't think we actually even have the ultimate farming upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Now we have that, so our food should start getting pretty cozy now. So that'll give us vision. Enemy destroyed Uravity's landmarks. Ah, Uravity might have bit off more than he can chew. He might have. That was, that's weird that like suddenly he can see me here. 
Okay. Let's get these guys back. Yeah. That thing has like crazy, crazy good range, doesn't it? So he's under attack. Let's get you guys down here. Queue up trade boats. That should that should just dude, look at the range on the Great Wall Gatehouse. My goodness, that thing is crazy good, huh? A lot of our fishing boats are being karate chopped. You know what? We could probably just delete our fishing economy. It just doesn't seem like necessary at this point. Alright, so we got U23. Let's get you guys here. Yeah, Oxide is building an alliance, I know. I'm probably going to fall to some haggard alliance later on, aren't I? Alright, let's go here. See if we can finish this off. Like, the thing, the good thing about a Basset is, like, you can kind of always get them just because... We probably want to build like yeah. We do have the Great Wall Gatehouse here too. All right, let's do this, and you guys can just set up here, set up here. We have the tax man. I mean, hey, they're collecting taxes, which is good. That's giving me. That's gonna give me the dough I need. Oh my god, the range of that landmark is insane, dude. It's able to reach me from all the way over there, huh? Okay, so let's repair, repair, and then go back. Yeah, your avidity is, I think, getting attacked by somebody else. We got the pagoda system, the goat, the gota system going. Let's go build these walls. And we're in. Let's go see what let's go see what's going on in here. We're probably not gonna be able to kill him with this kind of force we have here, but could cause some problems. 40 on food is I think more than enough. It's like no boiling oil there, okay. We're just going to chill on two sacred sites and kind of bank that money as well. And uh, let's just go Chinese landmark hunting. Yeah. Okay, it looks like somebody else is already hitting China pretty hard here. Uh, we get the Delhi armies in the middle. Ooh, hello. We see a relic. We take the relic. So somebody's. it looks like they're doing the work here. That's for sure. We need to DQ all these military units. We don't need them. Yeah, perfect. And uh, delete you guys. Like, where's uh, where are his landmarks? Okay, here's one here. We need to start eliminating threats because, like, dude, everybody's still in this game. Like, everybody. It's uh, it's just too much. Okay, so we get some vision. We see his army over here. Dude, that landmark is so useful. Oh man, I thought the game was going to crash there. I was going to get super bummed. He probably has some hidden down here somewhere, I would wager. But let's just torch these buildings and uh, we can we can move on from there. Okay, so the gold is going. We're taking all the goodies. I don't know how good this is yet. Let's see. Let's see what kind of income this yields. Oh, that's pretty... Okay, wow. That's uh, not bad at all. Probably a great wall gatehouse down here. I see some random stone walls up on the hill. Kind of makes me a little bit suspicious. Okay. So Delhi might be going for some sacred action. We'll have to see. Let's seal the breach. And after that, we can just kind of go lumberjacking here. No, yeah, he already built the Great Wall Gatehouse. Yeah, duh. So I think the entire north of his base has kind of been steamrolled a little bit. Leave nothing for the Mongols. Yeah. I don't mind the Mongols getting some scraps. Let's get the Imperial officials to carry better. Get knights upgraded to the, the big fancy status. Blue is here, so Buggy Eyes, I believe is his name. He might have hidden Spirit Way down here. I wish I wish I had a way to like scout for all of his landmarks. The reason why I'm kind of leaving my last uh, landmark unbuilt is because I'm thinking that like in an emergency I can like build it somewhere. You know, even though I'm missing out on 10% health, I'm kind of like, okay, so if I get karate chopped, right, just like suddenly an unholy horde just comes for me. You know, at least uh, at least I can build this landmark in a panic somewhere. That's kind of the idea here. Oh my god, Delhi's going for sacred again. That I actually like that Delhi's doing that because it's like taking kind of the focus off potentially, you know, other threats. Where is his last landmark? Did he hide it down here? He must have. China has so many damn landmarks. It's just crazy. I mean, he's basically finished. Um, we'll go check in the south. All right, so is there any more gold nodes? There are. There are a few. Okay, so everything has been like kind of flattened up here. He probably hid one down this direction. Probably hid one down here. 
Oh, hello, Blue. I guess we're fighting Blue right now. Blue still has some dreaded horsemen from the Potato Ages. We don't need to fight Puggy Eyes, though. If, if he wants to chill and just help me with this... Oh, don't. I guess he's going to fight. So, okay. Should be able to own this army. Let's get the horsemen around. Use them a little bit properly. Oh, look at that. He, he actually laid down the, uh, the spike traps. Pretty cool. So, walls are being built. We can go ahead and start mustering an army at home. We can get some Fire Lancers in the mix and get some Nesta Bees and some cannons. That should do the trick. Alright, so that, there's still that relic there. My guys never made it. I think Blue cut them off. We gotta, we gotta finish off all these threats though. Um, I can send some of my military to go try and shut down the middle. Eight minutes on the Sacred Sites? Spirit Way seems really good. Yeah, I, I need to I need to find a, a place to build it that's tactical. Okay, I, I had a feeling this day would come when the Abbasids would, would come back to betray me. Thankfully, we have landmarks and stuff, and we have some defenses. It's mo mainly just spring alls and camels, so it's not like a scary army. Uh, looks like we're secure down here for the most part. Yeah, he's going for my landmarks. Okay, we have some troops to fight him. We're almost home, too. We're almost back. Get this. I guess we just build the spirit way at this point. Yeah, let's see. We got troops. I guess he's going to try and landmark snipe me, but that's fine. I'm not, not too concerned about it. Alright, so we're almost home. We have troops fighting. Mostly camels. I guess we're I guess we not going to be able to kill um, Gravity. He's hidden a landmark somewhere, and you know I don't want to think about that for too long. He has the dreaded uh, artillery here. It's going to be funny. Watch this. He's like, oh shit, where'd those villagers come from? Alright, so let's uh, get the party going. The military is in full effect. We've gotten down one of the Trebs, and the other Treb here is going to pay the troll toll. Nice. And he's he's clearing out some villagers for us. Very generous. But now this is where we, we have to go finish him at this point, because he's clearly a threat again. And, uh, yeah, we can't we can't deal with all that from you know, every direction. Alright, so he's doing a little bit of a run-by. But this is what the horsemen are for. Chase these guys down. Looks good. Yeah, I, you know, I didn't think Super Oxide would uh, come for me like that. Alright, that should get all those units. Alright, so heading north. We'll need some bombards because he's the Dark Lord of Stone. Uh, we've cleared out the army. The run-by has been dealt with, 100%. So let's just keep pushing up here. Still getting a lot of the resources on the map, which is good. Gonna lose a lot of spring alts, a lot of artillery now. Cackling in villagers. See, the villagers were cackling all the way to the bank. So let's repair this and get you guys to repair this. Okay, he just lost like everything. We'll see if he's able to rebuild. For most likely he will have some capabilities for rebuilding. We need to get more siege workshops too. Let's just build some here. That should give us the forward siege pressure we're looking for. Uh, what I suspect is going to happen is a wonder. I think there's going to be some crazy wonder play happening at some point. Although, guys, you know what? Um, Allied is still cackling in the middle, so we need to go decap those sacreds. You know, I don't want to just lose on that that haggard technicality there. So, okay, let's just set up a keep here. Yeah, I, I, someone's got to deal with it. Let's get some fire lancers. Clear out these random lumber lumberjacks. Nemo just, God, oh man, and the Chinese. Guys, do you see sacred? I don't know if they do. He managed to muster an army, but I mean, I, I doubt his economy is that good. So we could just go squash. Oh, man, no turn, my secret villagers. I know, I know. Well, it's it's just nest of bees mainly. I think he's got like one bombard cannon or something. Turn is building a wonder. That's funny. As if I am. So I wonder if anybody's going after him. Like I want, I might need to fight the Chinese army. I'm pretty sure I could just squash this real quick. But I need to go over here. See, so the Chinese were never dead. The Abbasid are building, uh, building some sort of witchcraft over here. Let's get this bombard cannon back behind the Great Wall here. Oh, I'm getting raided. Okay, that's fine. So we bought a little bit of stone. I'm gonna go for the middle, despite being raided. Okay, so do we have any troops here that can help? We have a bombard cannon that can come to the south and maybe help finish off some of the bills. 
Let's get their prison shanks out and then have them head back. Okay, so I'm going after Jelly now because he's pretty close to winning, guys. And if nobody's taking it seriously, then, you know, we could be in some danger, actually. All right. So, all out attack here. We got the Bombards. We got our infantry fighting. Uh, I don't know if the Chinese player is still cackling in my lands. But let's get a keep set up, like, around here somewhere. And they can just go back afterwards. Okay, so let's snipe these. Let's snipe these if we can. Hopefully the Bombard Cannons will live. Cool. So we got rid of all his anti-artillery. And elephants are coming out, but... As long as I don't get backstabbed by someone else, I should be able to save save the peeps. Like, China, China, even though he might push me back here, because I haven't been able to send reinforcements, um, China's just so strong. And the Curse of Abbasid in the north. See, this is the, the one that got away, man. The one that got away. Uh, so, we don't want to let on that we're, like, the only ones dealing with this. Okay, kill those Bombard Cannons if we can. And uh, let's get some Bombards coming over here. How are we looking? 42 idle vills. Let's go jump on this gold node. And we need to replenish the farms. Blue is killing me. Okay, well, at least players are slowly being eliminated here. Looks like the sacred site might be decapped. We'll move to this one here. See if we can slow that down a little bit. Oh, hello. Shit, there's a ton of elephants here. Wow. Okay, let's, uh, let's get back. Looks like Orange is helping. That's good. But he's very close to getting it, guys. He's very, very close. Uh, currently, we have no Lumber Bills whatsoever. Okay. So maybe let's grab some of you guys. Get some Lumber Villagers going. Our military is going to be pretty fat right now. Okay, Elephants are being dragged down. Sacred Sites have been thwarted. That's a pretty alpha play to go for it, though. Okay, so I don't have time to sit here and do, do this. I have other fish I need to fry. The, the dreaded Abbasid are just trolling me so hard. Okay, let's do this. Get some of you guys on lumber. Although my trade is yielding lumber, so... You're welcome! Yeah, he must have... Super Oxide must have thought he was the only one. That's pretty funny. Alright, so time to time to go try and take out the Abbasid once and for all. Their, their shenanigans have hopefully come to an end here. Predator says, don't get too close, please. Dude, there's all sorts of weird drama going on in there. Just politics and scheming. You know what? I'm just going to build the Spirit Way, because at this point, whatever. Like, if I lose my main base, then, you know, it is what it is. Could build it down here a little bit. Yeah, you know what? We could build it. Oh, no, there's... Oh! Oh, that's how he's surviving. Oh, and he's, he's blocking my trade. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Okay. So, yeah, he, he had a landmark in the enemy base that he hid. So, now we know where all his landmarks are. But my trade is going to get shut down for now, so let's get our trade boats just chilling. Yeah, see, he's sinking our trade boats. But we got to focus. I can't be bouncing back and forth. Like, cause... Oh, this is actually a pretty ugly little choke to fight in. Very, very ugly choke. All right, let's go down here. Yeah, see, I just like took like a million damage on those units. I could fire lance him. That's actually pretty funny. I think Predator is trading. I think at this point it's safe to say that like everyone is probably trading a little bit. Okay, so let's head over here. Torch these down. Pull you guys. Pull you guys here. Okay. The the Dark Lord of Camels emerges. Should be able to last Samurai a whole lot of these guys. Fire Lancers. Are we being bombarded down here? Yeah, it looks like there's like a couple, yeah. I could, I guess I'm gonna have to just defend on my, my southern realm, realm here. Uh-huh, let's cut you guys, do this. Yeah, getting backstabbed pretty good. I wouldn't even call it a backstabbing actually, it's just like kinda attack from two, two sides. Okay, so let's muster some reinforcements. Get some fire lancers. I mean, he, he took a lot of damage, but like, I'm not going to be able to finish off the Abbasid at this uh, at this base. Let's get these five Bombards back to the base. He's coming in with a pretty decent army. And we are able to break them here. So let's go there and there and pull you guys back to the base. Alright, so let's start fighting. 
Although we probably need those five bombard cannons to really, really get down and dirty. Okay, so he's pulling back. We got 25 of you guys. Let's uh, jump on gold here. It's Yeah, it's going to be really hard to fight on both fronts. Let's seal the walls. All right, so I guess we have to kill... Guess we have to kill Teal. I, I have no choice but to bounce back and forth. I have no choice. Okay, I think he's gonna flee now. He's got a lot of those, the, a lot of the Hellstorm rocket batteries. Thankfully, he didn't target my big blob of guns in the back. Okay, it looks like we're gonna get another one. Like even in this choke point, I think I'm okay-ish. Just because I have so many bombards, although they're a little out of position, so I should probably build them back. Yeah, that's why I need to build the spirit wave for the healing, right? A lot of fireworks, a lot of firecrackers. If I can just route him, then what's going to happen is I'm going to chase down all of his artillery. And that will pretty much be GG for him. I don't know how he managed to rebuild so well. He got his whole base smashed. I guess his economy never really like died, right? One, two, let's get on this. Okay, let's get some more Fire Lancers. Yellow is going for the Sacreds again. And he, that's a really, really good play by Allied because he's taking advantage of like the Discord, right? In the community here. Like, nobody's getting along. There's just fights all over the place. All right, uh, are we being attacked on the other side? We are being trolled by something. Oh, just a single trap. okay, no worries. I think we're gonna have to just try and kill him somehow. Maybe pull some bills. I wonder if he's defending this, we'll find out. He probably rebuilds a lot of his landmarks. Blue is here with an army as well, a little bit concerning. Uh, yeah, trade ships. Obviously, we can't really trade right now. So, do we want to build some, like, spring alls here? Yeah, let's build some springs. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so we know where he's at. We're just gonna, we're gonna push it. And if somebody attacks my main base, I'm just gonna have to pull back. It's just the, it's just the way it is. Okay, so he didn't repair that landmark, so I would wager he repaired a couple of those. Good recovery on his part, though, for sure. Okay, so... This never got fully repaired. Ambassador just pouring on the pressure. Okay, so let's get you guys down here. Go look into Fire Lance elsewhere. He does have the home field advantage, so we want to pull back. And what we'll do is we'll just send some Fire Lancers to go trolling. Uh, we can take down this landmark with Fire Lancers, I think. How hard of an attack is this? Okay, pretty serious. Okay, so we're just retreating a little bit. Because I, I have to just live. I have a pretty insulated position. I think I'm okay there. So we've almost gotten the spirit way down. We'll see if he has the means to repair it. Um, the Abbasid attack is pretty light. It's not too heavy. Okay, we've gotten that down. So let's uh, hustle he hustle here, 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 and then up here, and up here, and see if we can find any more landmarks. Yeah, the Grenadiers will come. Don't worry. They will. I thought I built a... Didn't I build the Spiritway somewhere? I guess I didn't. Huh. Okay, well, I guess it's time to build it. Uh, Spiritway. Didn't I build it? What the hell am I missing? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Screw it, man. Let's just build it here. Screw it. You guys, let's build the archery ranges. Alright, cool. So we're good. Uh, we found his buildings here. Alright, so let's start raiding the economy a little bit. Nice, nice. We'll start treating this like a 1v1. We'll go take the Abbasid out in the meantime. Predator's trying to Predator's trying to politic me right now, but I'll, I'll I'll set him straight. I have to I have to provide the facts, although we know how little facts matter in today's world. Okay, so <laughs> Predator trying to trying to pull a quick one. So Teal will be back. We got to deal with this Abbasid siege. He's got like 50 trebuchets, right? So 
it's uh it's it's a little bit a little bit problematic here yeah this is this is his economy here teal is actually trading down here i don't know how much can we get through this gatehouse even if it's ruined no it looks like you can't interesting today we learned something new sacred yeah i know sacred's happening attacking me or i'd help yeah nemo's talking about sacred and he's right but with me being attacked like this it's uh it's uh, it's kind of hard for me to get there i do need to kill the abbasid and if i just am allowed to focus on the abbasid for a minute i can i think i can take him down okay so chasing these guys should be able to get these camels 30 million idle villagers. Uh, we do have a little bit of gold over here, actually. So setting up some uh, keeps on the borders here. Yeah, he's gonna get some bombards. It's okay. We have, we have, so, we're so rich. It's not really a big deal, honestly. Let's get some grenadiers. Camels obviously have pretty subpar DPS. Um, I guess we go to the middle now. All right. So we're gonna move over to the middle, for sure. Am I being backstabbed on any side? Yeah, I see, again. So they're just gonna have to deal with it. Because I can't uh, I can't afford to go middle if I'm gonna lose my base. Yeah, he's got a lot of nest of bees. And, like, camel riders also just trolling my flanks and stuff. I would help mid, but being attacked. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. All right, so we got the walls being repaired. Good, good. So it'll take him a while to kind of break in once again. Um, what are we losing? Some tables and stuff? Oh, we lost some bills on food, I guess. Could be worse. Uh, let's get you guys on number for now. Run down the camels. He is attacking, but with mostly nest of bees. Okay. We want to replace villagers on food. Truce for middle. It looks like orange is maybe gonna get it. It's hard to say. <laughs> I had to like I had to go all the way back here to deal with that. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull you guys, get the grenadiers. We should be able to take the middle back pretty quickly. Thankfully these little positions here. Let's buy some stone. Make these stone towers. We're gonna have to get some static defenses, because man, we are just being hit in so many directions here. Is that deer literally screwing up the, the pathing on that? Or do I just not have enough gold or stone? Let's see. Oh my god, the troll. There we go. That'll have to do. All right, heading to the middle. Got to I got to do it at this point. Trust no one. Dude, there's treachery all over this game here. There's so much treachery. Are those farms? Oh, they are. Okay, they just like look weird. They have like some weird texturing on them. Heading to the middle. Nemo's going all out. So we've only lost one person. Only Rebel has fallen so far. I don't know, man. Where do we go? Yeah, we should get the basic archers upgraded while we have some gold. Zhugnu. Hand cannons. Yeah, we want to get pyrotechnics, all those nice upgrades. All right, so let's start um, sniping the artillery here if we can. It looks like it's going to be decapped. We're going to lose that bombard, though, for sure. I love that Allied is doing this, though. This is, uh, this is some really good play. What is our eco right now? 77? Yeah. I guess we don't need much more for now. It's going to be hard to sustain battle. Looks like he's fighting on too many fronts. All right. We're good. We can pull back. We can pull back. And we can go where we've been wanting to go for many a moon. Although this is probably a good direction to get into the base as well. Wait. Are they not actually getting decapped? Okay, they are. Looks like Orange has got it covered. Uh, you guys can go here. Let's replenish our eco a little bit. Perfect. So let's go through here, see what's going on. It looks like he's been decapped on several points. I love the Chad Deli play. I love the Chad Deli play. It's so great. Okay, so we gotta wait for the bombards to get here. We got you, let's buy a little bit of stone. Set up a keep down here. So we're just setting a network of keeps up. And let's hammer through these abasted walls. Looks like some haggard camels are coming for me. Should be able to head them off, no problem. And, uh, yeah, we can go here. Great. All right, grenadiers. 
you guys. Looks like we're all geared out on the food for now. Lots of lumber left on this map. Oh, hello. It was a trick. Though it looks like I still managed to get in. Yeah, okay. That's not gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Okay, so now we battle the Abbasid. With the Bombards, I think we get in pretty easily. We need to we need to take him out. Camel archers are, are terrible trading units, but or camel riders. Especially since I have no cav. He's gonna have like 15 mangonels in here though, probably. Oh never mind. If those are just traps, he's dead, probably. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so let's hammer these. Hammer these in the back. Oh my god, that camel they do have a lot of HP though. That's that's one thing you can't take away from the camels. Okay, so let's get into the farms here with some build, some dudes. We need to start just destroying the eco. Okay, so grenadiers. Let's get you guys back here, protecting these. He's pulling mass bills to try and dive. I, sh I probably should have brought some repair villagers, honestly. Okay, so now we got these guys on the farm zone. I'm hoping they can do some work. Superoxide calling, uh, <laughs> squealing for the help there. I love it. You got to do it. Um, Blue is attacking me. Hmm. Man, I, I don't think I'm going to have time to finish him, honestly. I'll just do what damage I can and then go back to my base, I suppose. So reinforcements are going to have to start mustering here. He's got a lot of keeps back here, obviously. We've seen those. Let's get some of you guys gathering. Going after the main TC. Thankfully, I have these, I have these keeps. They're going to buy us a little bit of time. I really, really want to finish the Abbasid, though. Okay, so let's get on this. Keep these units here. And you get the keep. Yeah, Blue's coming. He's coming pretty angry. Let's just delete more bills. Make some more military units if we can. We're gonna try and kill him. I don't know if I'm. I might actually like be in danger because there's like an English player attacking me. And English are very mad. They are. Uh, they're a very tough faction to beat. Uh, so let's set you up here. Oh no! Yeah, we're not gonna get it. Okay. We'll take down the keeps. Have you guys get into the farms? Okay. Now we just need to focus on the hold, which is gonna be super hard. All right, so blue is here. We do have grenadiers. Let's get the grenadiers like up on the walls. Uh, we got cannons coming, and you know we can still potentially just cripple this base here, right? So that's one thing that we got going for us. Like if we just cripple his economy, then I think we're good. Yeah, it looks like we're holding. He's got a lot of traps, but the Chinese unit quality is just better. Although those are English traps, which have attack speed. So I wonder if blue did anything there. Oxide, I've come. Says Allied Trex. Oh my god. Oh no. Is there more coming? We'll see. We'll see. Just keep grenading through his base. Okay. Looking good. I think there's too many people jump uh, teaming up on me here. It's going to be hard. I might be able to just continue doing good work into the base though. We could build a bunch of rams actually there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Looking nice. Got some more crossies. Push back the English army. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. Uh huh. Let's make some horsemen, get some of you guys. We managed to push them back, but a legion of elephants has come. And we need to hopefully hold this. Okay, so we held one back. Let's get you guys and start building rams. Come on, why is it so laggy? Oh my god. Like, whenever I go to build rams, it just lags. Okay, so yellow is coming now, too. Oh, uh, those are just melee elephants. I guess they're pretty decent. They're not bad at all. Especially in numbers. Okay, so we need to get more infrastructure here. Let's pull you guys back. Gather up units where we can. The Dark Alliance is rallying against me, I know. You guys weren't kidding, dude. They truly are. Um, thankfully, those are just the, like those elephants aren't that good. Um, cannons should put some hurt on them. Although they're still going to kill a lot of my stuff. 
So for me, it's just mainly survival mode here, guys. Because I'm being uh, teamed pretty heavily, so I gotta just make sure I live. Okay, we're getting the elephants. I think the bombard cannons are gonna be the difference maker. Okay, so we got rams coming out. The rams are here, uh, obviously, to try and finish them off. We have to finish off parts of the Haggard Alliance before they overwhelm me. Although, like, there's got to be other threats on the board. I'm not the only one. Mm, let's get Bombard Cannons coming out. Our macro is not, not falling, thankfully. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I got attacked by someone else again. We still have some of our border keeps. Oh my god, the elephants. There's so many of them. Dude, this is such an expensive army. What's scary about an army like this is if you lose to it, what ends up happening is they, they just kill all your landmarks, right? So we need to make sure we hold this. Spears. Uh, yeah, Grenadiers or Hand Cannoneers. Hand Cannoneers are what we really need. I'm just going to make expendable chaff here. Okay, it's running out of steam, the army. They're not the Archer Elephants, so... Not going to be quite as good. All right, so let's get you guys. So just actually, you know what? They can just jump on that wall there. Yeah. And you guys just keep clearing this out. Great. How are we looking on the hold? Looking good, but if another army attacks me now, that could that could be the straw that breaks my back. Uh, do we ever finish all these buildings? Yeah, we, good. So when we start getting some guns out, we should annihilate these dumbos. All right, so it looks like we held. Okay, did he re repair his TC is the question. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Oh my god. Let's get in there and start ramming this shit into the Shadow Realm, shall we? Okay, let's pull you guys back. We only need the ramps in here. Let's get this proper surround. Dude, those Dumbos are still going in my base. Absolute insanity. Okay, let's ram this shit. You guys can build more of these. It like lags really bad when I go to build those. It's strange. So it's kind of a weird bug there. All right, 24 workers. Uh, we need some siege workshops probably. So one, two, three, and then come up and repair this. Walls are being rebuilt, and we are getting some good dreaded ram damage on these. Our little core of military is still causing causing some drama. Are we being attacked again by anybody else? Okay, seems like we're okay for now. Oh my god. The sound glitch? Is it, is it sound is it sound bad to you guys? Let me know. I can uh, I can try and fix it. Okay, a little bit nervous to leave my base. Not today, Terran. He says that's pretty funny. We'll see about that, dude. We'll see about that when the when the rest of my army gets there. All right, so let's uh, let's gather the troops and just start go clearing this stuff out. So yeah, we're not trading, which is not good. Um, lumbering is going fine, I guess. What is our eco? We're 95 right now. There's probably not much gold left on the map. There's a little bit here we can go take. Your voice is fine. The game audio is glitching out. Okay. If I go to settings and go to audio. So I'll just turn that down. Okay. One of my villages has some units in it. Nice. Classic. Oh, it's so much so much worse without the, uh, without the game sound, huh? I do have the ram damage thing, I think. Yeah, we need to, we need to get some of these too, though. Enemies capturing sacred site. Is that better? If I have the uh, have it all turned off like that. Okay, he's still pouring out some men at arms to fight. Let's move up here. We have the dread legion on its way over. Uh, you guys have been finishing the spirit way for quite some time. Yeah, is that better? Maybe, maybe. Does is there any way to fix that, or does it just happen? Okay, he's, he's really going after these rams. Obviously, he knows they're going to try and kill him. Looks like sacred sites are being shared amongst the people. It's uh, it's it's quite a utopian society we have here in this game. We need to set up some gatehouses. Yeah, I'd rather have the crunch. It was only a little bit choppy. Prefer with games around? Okay, well, uh, let's, let's see if how it sounds. Yeah, without sound, it's it's weird to play. Okay, it's not that bad. I hear it. It's not that bad. 
Okay, so we're coming in again. Try and finish off the dreaded Abbasid. I should probably be careful and actually protect my shit this time around. Let's get some walls. Yeah, I think I think the sound back on is better. This is just such a vulnerability, man. Oh my god, this base. Sigmar, bless this ravaged base. It's just been getting punished all day. But now we got bombards here, so the Pensa bombard should be able to do the trick. He's probably going to call for help now, which is what I would do. Oh yeah, I hear that. I actually just noticed that. That is that is pretty crunchy. Okay, so we just guard this. Maybe there's some sort of a bait. I mean, his economy has been flattened pretty hard. I would wager he can't really afford much anymore. Oh yeah, that's really bad. Okay. Let's see if we can take down the towers here. He's mustering some horsemen. He's gonna try and dive us. Let's take this down. Intercept the horsemen before it's a before it becomes an issue. Oh god, that's really bad. All right, let's uh, shoot this. Are we actually able even to reach that? I guess we'll just get you. Oh my god, I feel like I'm removing such a thorn in my side. You know, just the just the bliss of, of not having a, a backstab from one side. Well, it's not a backstab, it's just the attack. It's not, it's not like we were ever allies or anything. Alright, so let's just chill here. Let's let the ram do this. So that's going to be the Abbasid gone. It's your CPU being overtaxed in the game. The game renders audio. Got it. Okay. My computer is a bit of a potato, so maybe it'll get better. Oh my god, it's really struggling. Oh, it's finally over, dude. It's finally over. So now we need to go secure Southern Trade. Others have the same issue. Okay. Dude, he was such a terror. Okay, shouldn't he be dead? Okay, he's gone. Killed myself trying to... Okay, yeah, there's some there's some good drama around the map. Okay, so now we need to... Now we need to go deal with the Chinese. Our eco is just so bad. Uh, let's see if there's... Is there any gold left on the map, guys? There's a little bit of trading in the middle. Let's go see if we could like set up some towers here to make sure nobody's trading. We have the pagoda going. The pagoda, the pagoda is giving us a pretty good little boon for sure. Uh huh. Maybe it'll it'll be okay now. We'll see. It seems like it's gotten better. No, never mind. My computer ne does need to be updated. Oh my god. Trex definitely still has a huge Dumbo army. Yeah, Trex was just saying he was all poor. He's like, I spent everything trying to kill Turin. And then I, I look and there's just like 50 elephants in the middle. Oh my god. Uh, do the Abbasid have any trading options left? I think I might. I think their markets might be gone. We'll have to see. Hang on a sec. My computer is really struggling right now. Why is it struggling so much? Usually it's not a problem. I did change some of my settings in OBS recently. So like improve the quality of videos for Total War. So maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, does he have any trade around? Hmm. I wonder if he has a dock up there. Could send some horses to go explore. So let's go do that. See if he has a dock here. He could have a coastal dock. And then if he does, we could just trade with it. And then that, that's that's going to be like just just the, the spice of life. In the meantime, though, we head, we head down here. Yeah, I'm going to go check. I'm going to check, guys. Don't worry. I got the schemes. Let's go lumberjacking. Get the robot voices going. Allied Trex has, like, 50 elephants. Oh, he's actually battling Nemo. Okay. He's, he's going for the W again. This gives me time to execute my villainous plans. Uh, incendiary arrows... I'm making mostly hand cannoneers, but 
I think I should get it because I will have to switch to archers eventually when I run out of gold. So, did he have a dock? Did he have a dock? Looks like he didn't. If he did, he deleted it. Man, nah. pretty bleak there, guys. Man, he was very entrenched though. He was very okay. There is a market there, so I can do a little something, something. So let's grab you guys. Do this. Set that up. Head over here. Let's get those laggy, laggy bombards. Oh my god, he actually has a big army. Okay. Let's do the, the RTS fan out. You guys ready for it? Here we go. So we need to just ride in and dive these bad boys if we can. A couple of you guys go here. A couple of you guys go here. Seems like we're getting some damage. Oh my god, this is rough. The wall is kind of obstructive here. He must still have a lot of gold somehow. Because he's, he's sitting kind of cozy. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. Relic, please. Okay, so we did some decent damage. What's going on here? Oh, looks like we have a bow chad. He's got a chad parked off my shores. Which, hopefully my cannons will be able to just... My cannon towers here will be able to deal with it. Alright, so ma mustering out a big army. Uh, he obviously probably has landmarks up in the north. There's like no gold left. The machine spirit cries out in pain, it does. Uh, how do I want to deal with that chad? Let's just take these bombards down and just thump them. I mean, I'm surprised he's going for river chads. Okay, so let's get fire lancers and horsemen. Get you guys here. I, I, I mean, he'll get some buildings, I guess. It's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Oh my god, it's so painful. Yeah, there's only two players eliminated, correct? So he should not be able to shoot me through here. Now we can just go and just hopefully thump these down. One... And two. Yeah, we're gonna probably lose one bombard for our efforts. Yeah, that definitely was advantageous for us. So we just killed like six bow chats for he got like I don't know a house or two or something. Let's build some chads of our own for the river. We'll prepare a muster here. I know there's gold here, but it's like hotly contested. I'm just trying not to try not to die here, guys. We'll uh, we'll go try and decap one of these. Yeah, Orange is waiting to go for the sacred victory. It looks like. Okay, so let's gather you guys in group two. Get the main military here in one. Go lose formation. And the horsemen can do a ride by and just head over here. While the main army is gonna go. Okay, he's not gonna let that happen. We might be able to just get in up here though. Let's go see. Okay, so I'm hoping the Bombards will get the job done. He does have a lot of nested bees, so we need to like fan out our units manually. And just hope that we can trade well. Sorry about the audio, guys. There's just literally nothing we can do. Okay, so the horsemen, are they going to find a way in? They will eventually. Let's hit this Bombard. Yeah, cool. As long as we kill this Bombard Cannon. Yeah, the markets are ready, correct. Okay, do the horsemen find a way in? Not yet, they will. All you gotta do is path and just spray and pray, baby. Okay, so he's gonna get driven back here. He's gonna overextend and we're gonna probably get into the cookie jar. Start torching artillery. I think that's what I wager is gonna happen. Ooh, but maybe not. I'm out of gold, so now it's just time to trade shithouse units. And apparently he's got it, just a metric, infinite amount of gold here. So we need to see what landmarks he's got. Okay, he's got some here. Yeah, so this is this is problematic. He's trading somehow. I don't know how he's doing it. He must have some sort of a trade route. Uh, one, two, three, four. This never finished. Nice. Uh, sacred in the middle. So we're going after some landmarks. Just trying to kind of butter him up for later. I think I still have the bombard advantage. So I do have that. That's good. 
Uh huh, horseman. And um, did I ever get the archers upgraded to elite? No, that's a, that's a shame. So we just need to kill his bombards. That way he can't uh, actually get past my keep. Nice. Take some of these out. Take some of you guys out. Keep spamming here. We've taken this. Let's go check for other landmarks in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Make some grenadiers in the mix. We are killing his, his uh, nest to be slowly. Yeah, and I think the keep is doing some good work. Unfortunately, we're having to make potato age archers right now. All right, so let's get this down. He has a lot of gold. I don't know where he's getting it from. He must be trading. Uh, archers, yeah, we need to get our archers upgraded to the elite status. All right, so the horsemen raids are doing good. I would wager... Yeah, he's going to have a lot more than this. Okay, so let's gather back. We need to we need to get a lot of horsemen and fire lancers. Back you go, team. Do you have any grenadiers in the mix? We do have some. Cool. All right, so those landmarks have gone. Let's head to the south and see if we can get this one. He's probably going to be defending those ones, I would wager. Yeah, we could be in serious danger here. We could be in serious, serious danger. Uh, let's go ahead and get a keep here. Because he's got, like, a uh, just infinite amount of gold from something. I don't know how. Let's uh, get down here if we can. Yeah, his army's really good quality, too. Grenadiers, mostly. Lots of crazy stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a decent idea. So we can do a game sound. We could do uh, sound effects. And we just do the... Okay, that should save us from that. We did get a lot of his landmarks, though. So if he's not careful, we can run past him here. Okay, let's go up here. Let's get back into there, if we can. We're going to do a little bit of a run-by here. Yeah I, yeah, I need to get some land trade going, for sure. It's going to be hard. Alright, team. So now we just run past him. I, I don't know if he's ready for this. We'll see how insulated his base is. Oh my god, the Mongols are coming. Do you guys see this? The Mongols are packing up to party. Nice, we did get the run by. So we can get at least into the front, frontal layer of the base. Get the spirit way down here. So that's going to pull his whole army back, most likely. Nice, nice. The dreaded... Oh yeah. Teal is trading. I wonder if they still perceive me as a threat. I definitely am not one. Well, these horsemen have just rode to their doom. Let's see if we can uh, make something else happen with this. Like pull the rest of the army in. Get a pick or something. Wait, what? Is that open? That was weird. You guys see that? I was like almost able to kind of squeak through there. All right, so let's dive the artillery here. Move into the front. Teal is very powerful though. I probably should say something pertaining to the politics. No, no, okay. Come on, Cav. You guys charge in here. Yeah, we're not going to get too much luck. Let's go jump on this bombard. Pull you guys back. And these damn traders need to just go up here. Come on, dude. Where the hell is the trade? Alright. So we got a bombard. Let's get this one. Looks like we just killed two. Certainly cost effective. Gold and trade. Yeah, there's like a sound bug going on. We have to alert the world that a new tyrant has emerged. And it is certainly not me. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of stone walls. What the hell are the Mongols doing here? He's got his like deer stones and shit. You guys seeing this? Sorry, I had to turn the sound off, guys. Yeah, there's there's um there's a lot, a lot going on. Okay, so let's get you guys. Trade a little bit of stone. Why not? Get some traders going on the big distance. Oh yeah, dude. This is this is this this sound bug is really shitty. I have no idea what the Mongols are doing, dude. There's so many people still alive too. It's it's just super oxide and rebel who are who are gone. So let's sail down here. Come sail away. 
All right, so let's run down here with these guys. Keep the main army at home. We're going to chill out. Battle chads are going to blast the hole in the walls. And our horsemen are going to get in. Probably didn't see that one coming. That's for sure. Okay, one more attack. Perfect. Let's go here. Sail you guys down. Oh, he's trading with his dock here. Perfect. So we need to kill this. See, this is where he's getting his, his gold from. So that, this is a huge play. This is potentially going to even out the Great War here. Okay, so we're going to take down the Spirit Way. He's got a chat of his own. We're definitely methodically getting through a lot of stuff. Horseman. Looks like we've gotten that. Good. Maybe if a another player gets eliminated, the sound will improve. We can hope. All right, so let's hit this. I wonder if he's going to push now. Like how he's going to play this. It's so laggy, dude. Oh my god. Age, please. Age, please. Even Total War doesn't do this, and that game is like way more intensive. All right, so now we're into the cookie jar. We can start raiding. We'll get the Bao Chad sailing down here. We need to take down this dock. And he's gonna have to pull back here for sure. This is uh, this is not a situation he's gonna want to deal with. All right, so let's head into the farms. These guys can head out. The Chads are just gonna hammer. Oh, that's a that's a neutral keep. Okay. Got a pagoda. Let's take that down if we can. This bug is so haggard. It's just so janky, guys. And the main army will move up in the front, see if we can catch anything out of position. All right, let's have some fun, man. Let's give them some of that 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 harass. The old man harass. Okay, let's go down here. Start destroying some infrastructure, dude. He is so rich. Oh my god, he's got a lot going on. So we're just going to get some intel, like scout his base and see what's cracking. As far as this goes, we can start torching. Yeah, it's kind of pointless for us to make any artillery. I'm going to see if I can get any like picks. So let's take you, you, and you. Still running circles around his base. Okay, great. So this is like just buying his time, right? It's like just annoying and it's going to take a while for him to get any get any troops here. Let's go to the top, down, down, down to Party Town. I know he doesn't have much in the way of landmarks. Let's uh, get our Chads back. And we need to make more. You know, the Chads are actually pretty useful here. So I think making another Chad is probably worth it. I, oh, he's trading somewhere. Okay, I need to see where he's trading from. Probably one of these many docks. Are these his docks? These are just his docks. Okay, so you can't trade, obviously, with your own dock there. I need to see where that guy's going. Um, is he going up here? Is this what's going on? We got a Chinese dock. We got a Chinese dock. Okay. So now he's sending out some units to fight us here, but that's okay. We just pull back. Ah, uh -huh. make some grenadiers, no problem. Yeah, he's got his he's got his little naval thing going, that's for sure. Keep selecting the traders, which is so obnoxious. Okay, so we should be able to get back and heal up. Oh my god, the sound bug is so haggard. Uh-oh. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, everybody's just trading with this dead Abbasid player. That's pretty hilarious. Including yellow. <laughs> Including allied Trex. Uh, no wonders on the table at the moment. Oh, okay. Somebody's destroying the market. So that whole trade, trade operation is basically bust. It's basically game set blouses. So where are our chads at? Our chads are coming back to heal. We have one that's about to pop out right now. Let's see if we can like catch um, some sort of an open field fight. Yeah, there's a neutral dock down here. I know there is, but it's guarded by his towers, so I can't get that very easily. Let's do a big flank. So get you guys going in the front in loose formation, and then you guys come up and under and see if we can get his artillery. Because if we just get his artillery, then he's basically dead, right? Uh-huh. Get you guys on the nest of bees here. 
Yeah, nice, nice. Because we can replenish everything, it's just we can't really afford to match his arty, so we need to just... Uh-huh, uh-huh. How are we doing? We gotta get these bombards down. Alright, so bombards are almost down. Let's get these guys. Okay, he's got like one bombard left. That was 100% worth. Alright, so let's gather the boys. Grenadiers and horsemen. These guys need to come back to the base because we need all hands on deck. So yeah, he's got one bombard tower or cannon left, I think. We can bring the traders to battle, you know. It's extra HP, right? Yeah, so that was extremely cost effective for us. And all three of our chads are healing. Uh, probably going to want more of those. What the hell, blue is here? Oh my god, B blue has arrived. Okay, so now I need to like pump my brakes and see what blue's going to do. Because if he attacks me, I don't. he might still think I'm strong. Like I'm not, definitely not as strong as these uh, these gentlemen here. I might be able to win with good micro and plays, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, so there's still trade going somehow. Let's get a tower up here, whatever. I'm not sure where they're trading down here, maybe. I don't think there's a neutral dock. Yeah, there's a sound bug, yeah. I don't know how to fix it. I just have a good army. I wouldn't say I'm super rich. That's what you're having to be saying earlier. Shit, now I have to fight like an English army too? What the hell is this, man? This is not good. Let's get you guys to just build a keep here to help out a little bit. And go back to your, your lumberjacking. We have a little bit of stone in the base, actually. Yeah, we don't have any way of like mining it effectively, so whatever. Blue's army isn't... We would beat that army for sure, but we would take casualties, which could open up Teal's pressure. Blue, Teal is the menace. I don't know where, where he's going. Maybe he's just going to middle. Yeah, looks like he's just passing by. All right, so we can go... That army's still pretty decent. Still pretty decent. He's, he's here for me. You know, he wants the blood. I just killed his eco? I didn't kill any eco. <laughs> I didn't get anything. What is he talking about? Oh, of course, politics. Yeah, how could I? How could I be so foolish? Okay, let's get you guys coming around. Gather the main army here. Yeah, I didn't kill his eco. All right, so we're gathering up the team. You guys can come down here and let's attack in the front. We both have grenades, but the big cav flank will come and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this goes. All right, so we got the flank. The artillery should be good. Let's make grenades with what little gold we have because they're just super good. Okay, target that. Looks like we got it. All right, great. So the War of Attrition has certainly been kind to us. Um, we have outlasted. What's the voice? Yeah, it's... There's a bug. So for anybody who's experienced this before, does it resolve after time, or is it just kind of something that we have to deal with the rest of the game? Okay, let's get you guys going. Blue actually was just going to middle. It looks like he wasn't had no intention of attacking us here. Um, we still have some lumber up here we need to go get. Oh my god, it's so glitchy sounding. It's so glitchy. Let's uh let's move in and start pressing. We can build rams too if we need to. Whatever, let's just clear out these berry bushes so we get some space. Oh, he's got some idle cannons here. Nice. I'll take that free real estate. Can't bombards are not cheap. Okay, oh, that's where all his gold went. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we don't care about that. Because now we can just, we can shove right in and start killing a lot of the actual infrastructure for that he builds military with. My poor Chad's got overwhelmed, but, you know, it was it was not meant to be. So let's get this. We got a bombard cannon. It's a freebie right there. Very good. Now we need to just go pedal to the metal. Making spears, making archers, just bodies on the field, right? Just drown them and drown them in food. Uh, usually, when something like that happens, it, the sound drivers need to be reset. Okay. We need to make our officials again. I almost forgot about those guys. All right, so let's just clear through all this infrastructure, make it hard for him to produce military. He might be hurting for wood. I'm not sure. The chads here—that's a big gold expense that isn't going to really do anything for him in battle. So. Oh my god, it's so janky. 
Yeah, time to deal with Teal. No kidding. I mean, there's still a lot of players left. Up in the north. Allied Trex is going to be strong, too. He's been trading. So, just going to set up a cannon tower there to make sure nobody's trading. Okay. So, yeah, army's, like, really low tier. But, you know, we have 31 Gunnadeers, which is the big saving grace. I don't know if anybody else... Yeah, I, I think other people in chat were saying they got the sound bug, too. So, it's everybody. Uh, what does he got here? Yeah, it's mainly Palace Guard. Palace Guard will do very poorly against um, against grenades. So let's just get the Bombard to clear out the, ca the the keep here. And then, oh, we need to get that. Let's go get some horsemen on that if we can. Nice, nice. He lost the artillery before it could do anything. All right, guys. So Bombard is getting the keep down. We got grenades getting dirty. He does have hand cannoneers though, so he might be able to defend us off here. I'm hoping the grenades will, will win the day. But if we can get this keep down, I would call that a pretty big win. How's it looking? Very messy. Come on, keep. Come on, Chinese bombard. Show show us why you're OP. Well, it used to be. I, I don't think they're like OP anymore per se. Yeah, the horsemen have a lot of HP, so they can serve as pretty good meat shields. Let's uh grenade these these big blobs of hand cannoneers. Yeah, that's going to do a lot of splash damage, you can see. Nice, nice. Alright, so pulling back, we did get the keep down. So we can retreat a little bit right now, just gather our bearings. Uh, although I don't want to lose this bombard. If I could save that, that'd be quite nice. Yeah, my fire lancers there need to get busy. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this fight. I don't know what his economy looks like. I mean, clearly he's got food and a decent little surplus of gold. Now, any markets around? We do have markets in the middle, but they're pretty heavily contested. Yeah, it looks like Delhi has a market here. Oh, Del that's how where Delhi's trading. Okay. Oh my god, it's so laggy. Oh, Anakin, I'm too weak. Horsemen, and uh, yeah, you guys. Sounds good. We got Grenadiers back in the mix. We did some damage, though. I mean, we killed a lot of infrastructure. Certainly pushed him back in his base a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, we can pull something here. Don't want to make Palace Guard. They're, they trade pretty badly into most of those units here. The sound is orange wiping purple right now? Maybe. No wonder for us, that's for sure. The fact that we kept this Bombard alive is quite good, too. Let's get another one over here. Hopefully he's, like, running out of resources. I would wager he's got a huge bank, though. I'm down to keep grinding here, though. We have a decent eco. What is our... Our military is, is quite large, actually. How is it so big? Oh, that's why. I was like, how is our military so big? Well, there's a lot to it. That is for sure. Let's just keep sending these these chaff units in, though. Um, nothing to do with the chads. I can trade with the deli market. Yeah, but he's got towers all around it. I think so. Actually, those might be a Bassett towers. Let's see. Let's just try it. Screw it. We're going to see if we can get a little bit of sweet trade going here. All right, so let's just have you methodically start taking out all these buildings here while the rest of the army continues to bump and grind. So I think we've finally broken Teal's back. Uh, unless he has like a naval landing here. No, it's just bow chads. Okay. He's going to destroy one of our uh, villages at the moment. Yeah, but all of the hand cannoneers are down. Yeah, spears and horsemen are doing work, man. They are doing work. Plus we have, you know, we have three relics, I think. Yeah, we got three Relic Pagoda. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. Well, you know what? We can we can blast those ships. See if he's paying attention. Why not? So now he's going to struggle to produce. Um, we still have... Oh, that's right. We still have all these freaking horsemen here. So we could, like, check his landmarks. Oh, you know, that was planned. I left them there the entire time on purpose to make sure that, you know, he wouldn't get his feet back under him. Dude, my Bombard Cannon's reaching out. Jesus, dude, your avidity was such a terror this game, man. I thought I was dead to him several times over. I don't think he's I don't think he's actually gonna leave. Okay, he did leave. So now it's simple now what we do. I'll show you guys. Uh orange is here. We destroyed a village. Alright, so let's get a village here. I don't know, he had like 30 nests to be, so I assumed he was pretty rich. Okay, so heading across, let's go get the relic. Get you. 
Where's that relic? It's right here. Okay. Grab that, and then he can come back to the base. Oh my god, England's setting up here. There's no escape. Uh, let's clear these out. Get some of you guys. Grab you. Come down here. We need to set up the docks. One, two. And we make the trade there. Yeah. No, I know, guys. I know. It's happening. Don't worry. Don't worry. We need to drive back the English, though. They, they're getting a little bit too comfortable on my borders. Oh, my God. It's so laggy. They're just like, I'm too weak. All right. Do we have any... I feel like we have some idle military sitting around somewhere. That's, like, really bogging us down quite a bit. Oh, my God, dude. Your avidity was a terror that game, man. Stressing me out. Same with Super Oxide. Both those guys were just, like, hammering both sides of my base. All right, cool. So, villagers coming to set that up. Build a gatehouse here. Do that. Now, where do we go? It looks like the English have been driven off. Their little, like, empire they were trying to set up here. I guess we just get... We get, like, a, a big bank. Yeah, there is some gold here, too. I need to actually just get some bills over here. So, orange is in the middle. We have the English with infinite gold. Looks like there's a little English army over here. And the docks are coming, so let's wait till that one finishes. And we just kind of hang out. Let's just let's just take it easy, man. We don't need to we don't need to go busting heads quite yet. We can we can see what's going on in the neighborhood. Pretty much GG now. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's a, you, I thought I've won many a games only to just get karate chopped, so Oh, the sound bug. Oh, God. Let's get this set up, guys. Get the villagers going here. You can go trade there, buddy. Whatever. We'll, we'll put all hands on deck. This this is terrible trade, too. Uh, we can do that. All right. Sounds good. My gold was killed. So, England, are they back with some tools? Let's see here. Got to get that eco popping again. We're a little bit too heavy in the military. England has been pushing, yeah. I'm ready for Turn to finally evolve into his final form. That's Well, that's what we're trying for here today. Just like some unfinished wall. We'll, we'll show that wall who's boss. So this is where the, the good stuff happens. Like down here. You have 54 horsemen. Um, You know, let's put these horsemen to good use and send them like on a mission up north. We can like go into the... Um, so Allied's base here. I don't know, like, what do we, who do we, I don't want to, like, make any enemies, per se. The middle is very entrenched, though. There's too many people left to do a wonder, too. Oh, okay, well, I guess we could just attack here into the English army. That's one way to do it. So, um, let's start making some spears and some grenades. I think we do, I think we won this fight. It's going after my cannons. Let's do this, set up just, like, some random defensive keeps. Be useful around the lands. Okay, so the English army got karate chopped. There are some docks around the bend that we could go for that we'll eventually switch to. Okay, we just ran flatten that English army. Let's just go north and fight with this force. Um, as far as this goes, let's go build some towers here. And gear those out. Nice, we got some English trebs here too. Maybe we just save for a wonder. It's going to take a while. There's not much stone, but this trade, this naval trade is bringing us 150-150, so it's, it's a pretty good rate. Let's go. Let's go see what the English player is up to. Okay, let's just leave these. Don't need them right now. Got more military popping out. We can go ahead and cancel this. We do have a wild bombard cannon. You see the guys see the bombard just sitting there. It's all suspicious. Okay, so heading to the north. Do we have enough infrastructure? I would say so. The one thing we're missing is siege workshops. Probably use a couple of those. So let's uh, set up a couple of them here. Perfect. Let's kind of keep heading up. Looks like everybody's kind of like bare bones on their resources. Uh, let's use the spy palace to see what the map looks like. Okay, so purple is here. Oh, that's predator. Oh, that's funny. I can like always see where predator is. He's hiding landmarks in the bushes. Okay, wow. Delhi looks to be going for the middle. Uh-oh, my game is really struggling right now. Oh my god, look how much shit is happening. I might have to, like, turn my graphics down. 
We found one of Predator's landmarks here. Let's just set up some of these to make my like front a little bit more durable. I'll kill this landmark if need be. Yeah, this is politic time. Bees, yeah, yeah, no, I can make the good armies now. Especially with all these coming out. Oh, we found the deer stones, okay. So let's torch the deer stones. Although it looks like they're already destroyed, but I can't target them for some reason. That's kind of weird. Let's go to the middle and push orange out, maybe. That seems like it could be a, a decent plan. Let's just cancel these. Yeah, nest the bees is so good. Well, the English uh, English army has been crushed a couple times over. But let's just go secure the middle. I think that's the way we do it here. Dude, we're actually mining gold. Like at the two hour mark, there's so gold left on the map. It's uh, apparently the bug affects everyone in the in the lobby is what I've heard. Okay, nice. So we got uh, another relic here. So it's going to be more Tithe Barns action. We'll just move in and, you know, wear down some of these 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 stone towers. He's probably going to move into the big army here soon, but I'm not too concerned about it. I think that's okay. I'm trying to lose some units so I can, um, so I can uh, uh, get some more trade going. It's the CPU, not GPU issue. Need a big boy upgrade? I know. Well, it, this has never happened to me before, so it's first time for everything. Hmm. Okay, we got lumberjacking going good. Our eco is back to like a pretty reasonable state. Let's just keep clearing. Could even go for like some sort of a wonder situation or sacred victory. Stone is going to be the hardest thing to get for sure. So enemy is capturing sacred site. Looks like Allied Trex is back. He's mostly men at arms base, which means we would karate chop that army. This is good. We're losing units, which means that... Uh, is there any like lumber we could go for here? Nice. Which means we're getting traders, right? So the traders are popping out because I'm not producing military right now. So this is exactly what we want. Is this beautiful naval trade. It's a game It's a game issue. Yeah, everyone's saying something a little bit different. Alright, so we're clearing out a lot of our crappy units. Soon to be replaced by good units. Is this border secured? Yeah, I mean it is walled off. There are openings, but it's uh, it's okay. So decapping Orange's business here. Orange must be pretty weak, unless he got like a bunch of relics. Turn back those OBS settings. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess so. It, it definitely improved the quality of my streams, though. <laughs> Turin has hand. Turin has hand cannon ears. Of course I do. Like, as if that's some, like, enlightening information. I love it, dude. I love it. Oh, okay. We got to go back. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. We, we, we weren't really up to much anyways. So let's get some of you guys, some of you guys. Get some spears, just to be chaff. And we can get some fire lancers. All right, so he's moving in. The English the English just on this, like, map long crusade. Yeah, look at this. Like, what are they doing? It's like a bunch of random horsemen. It's a game bug, is what everyone's saying, yeah. All right, so let's get the spearmen in there. Ready to fight. Thankfully, I can macro out armies pretty quickly. And uh, we're coming home now. Let's buy a little bit more stone. I do have the Pagoda system online. The Pagota. So you guys can come and try and deal with this force and uh, come down here as well. Okay. So it shouldn't be a problem hunting down these knights. They're just attacking random buildings. So he's microing pretty well, though. And uh, we can pull you guys back. Ten hand cannoneers here. Main force should uh, crump on the back of this army any moment. We need to get those borders secure. They'll, it'll prevent like map, like cross map attacks. Um, all right, so how are we looking down here? It's gonna be hard to secure that. All right, the English army is being surrounded. Um, the knights move after the pagodas, but they don't get anything. They just all die, a relatively uh, inglorious death there. Move back up. Yeah, English army is pretty scrappy, man. Trader army, nice. Yeah, they're finding some trade, I suppose. So I need to secure these borders. So that's the middle. I don't really have any good angles with which to do that. Because there's like all these like ruined walls. So I guess we just continue with our keep network. The ride bys could be kind of devastating though. All right, gather up team. Yeah, we're still going, man. We we almost died a couple times, but we uh, we managed to endure for Sigmar. Uh huh. Can we get this wall here? Well, anyways, we'll secure that and then see what's going here. Uh, we could delete this part section of the wall. Hopefully get an attachment going. 
Can you guys remind me what the hotkey to select all military is? I never use that. Uh huh. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna get walled off finally. Enemy is approaching sacred victory, so that's um, allied. He's going for a sacred, which is which is pretty nice. All right, so let's get the walls going. Waiting for one more to drop before. Yeah, wonder is definitely like in the cards. We're gonna move up into the middle. See if we can uh, make a difference. Probably gonna need to actually macro an army now. And spears. And let's see how this goes. England doesn't have infrastructure here, I don't think. We need to get some like vision. Like just random towers around the map so we can like see what's coming. Hey, I hope you guys are still enjoying this despite the lag. I'm sorry about it. It's just nothing I could do. It's not even lag. All right, so let's uh, engage against Allied's armies. Uh, is he fully walled here? It looks like he is, yeah. So he was able to re rebuild that great wall. We'll take this middle one. With these good quality units coming out, we should be able to hammer it. So let's attack from the back here. And uh, yeah, the wall's being built, which is good. Let's get a gate, and then you guys can come out and jump on the trees after that. All right, so Allied is for sure going to get decapped here. And the Holy Romans are actually much stronger than I thought. They have a ton of hand cannoneers here. This is a really scrappy game. Yeah, very wise. The Holy Romans, like, leave after I after the threat has been mostly dispatched. Although, to be honest, Delhi might be able to push me back. I don't know what else they have here. Let's see what we got. Oh, never mind. Okay, we have a lot more units. So the Lumberjacking is going. It's Control-Shift-C. Thank you. So Control-Shift-C. And they can move up here. Yeah, I, ne I almost never use that hockey in 1v1 because I usually know where my military is, but... Okay, let's move up here. Got to get the sacred. A lot of haggard spearmen coming in. Shanks for the shank god. Let's jump onto the objective here. I feel like I'm playing domination mode in Total War right now. Okay. So, yeah, we need to seal this breach, 100%. So let's get this, and then this which will finally secure us. Holy Roman's coming down to make sure that I got it. They're, they're like, wait a second, did China actually get that? Okay, yeah, we got this. There's no way they're gonna stop us. Oh, we gotta buffer him off. Okay, good. So Delhi isn't gonna get it, which is nice. We're still just gonna kind of start buying some more stone. I don't know where we go with the wonder. Um, if we do decide to go wonder, that is. Pop this. Oh my god, using the Imperial Palace was a mistake. That just like lagged me so hard. Oh my god, Delhi's, Delhi's coming back for it, dude. He he wants it. I really didn't want to have to keep making military, but I might have to. I feel like my computer is going to literally explode. Alright, thankfully the Chinese units are just so good. Like Grenadiers and like all those guys. They just like trade. I know the game sound is broken. Well, I can't do anything about this. Predator says, don't you dare. There must be some some funny memes going on over there. Go kill yellow is what he says. Oh, hello, mangonels. Better pull you guys back, huh? All right, so let's uh, get our bombards to shoot you. Wow, it's like it's like they're getting, the voices are getting worse. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, help us, we're fading into oblivion. Wonder position, I mean... Yeah, probably like around here somewhere. Like right here, maybe. Late game China, I know, dude. Late game China's brutal. He's probably just gonna gr keep grabbing that. The exchange rate is so bad at this point. If we have more trade going, we probably should just get more trade ships. All right, let's get more of those trade ships going. What's really nice is they bring back wood too. Yeah, yellow is strong, but he is playing Delhi. So the thing is Delhi isn't that scary. So let's get over here and, and get some horsemen to shut down his trade. Okay. Got 12 bills here. Any sort of walls I want to build? Yeah, it looks like we actually fully walled off our empire, so that's nice. He just keeps going for it over and over. Oh my god, he's got tower war elephants too. Okay, good thing we're going to shut down this trade here, or at least try to. Okay, looking good. Uh, we do have 16 hand cannoneers and 28 grenadiers. Should be able to beat the elephant army. Oh, although he's got pretty good troop quality, actually. Oh, shit, never mind. Oh, god, his army's... His army's strong. The fact that he can, like, trade... Oh, yeah, no, 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 we don't want any of that. We need we need some proper, some proper anti-artillery. Or just bombards of our own. Okay, so turn. Drag down some of the knights. Retreat. 
gather spears. Okay, we, we got his traders here, so let's just like run past him. Okay, so pulling back to the cannon tower is a good thing we made those. Actually turns out to be pretty useful here. His army is very good though. 22 of you guys. Any more wood nodes I can go for? Um, Delhi is strong. I'm, I'm going to need the Holy Romans. I mean, I think I could push him back on my own, but it's not going to be easy. So yeah, we're taking down his trade now. Orange is all uh, knights, culves, and hand cannons. Lovely. Sounds sounds like a Holy Roman army to me. Okay, yeah, he's losing most of his trade. So that will hopefully slow down the roll. Yeah, remember to set up defenses. Oh, don't you worry. I'm I'm very aware that I'll need the glorious defenses of, uh, of Sigmar here. Could go over there with an even bigger army. Let's like send some, some decent quality over there. Some spears and hand cannoneers, things like that. Yeah, all right. So our military's gotten smaller because our eco is going well, but we have to neutralize the sacred sites. You know what, what would actually be the best time to build a wonder would be right now? Because everyone's focused on the sacreds and the wonder would just kind of go under the radar. Just trading food and uh, other resources now. Yeah, trading food and wood to get to the gold that we need. But yeah, he does have it. So this is gonna this is gonna like kind of force Orange to have to deal with it, right? It looks like Delhi's coming here. Some units we can attack there. Get the tower going. Get you guys moving back across. Now we can move to the middle. Although that dude, that Dumbo army is mean. It's very mean. All right, let's make some. Yeah, spearmen trading into horsemen here is good. Very cost effective. Going to drag down a lot of his elite horsemen. Okay, that's going to be like the last batch of gold we'll spend for a while. So let's just keep trading. Nice, nice. That was very cost effective. We just wrecked those uh, those Delhi soldiers. All right, let's get in here. Shut down the trade. Uh, blue, middle sacred is an issue. See, blue is in raiding my base. He's got some horsemen running around. I'm not sure. I think he's looking for a way in. Not quite sure. But now we uh, shut down the trade here, which is great. Blue is like raiding me. He's got he's got horsemen running around, I think, or looking to try and get in. I'm not sure. Okay, so looking back to the middle. Oh, the sales upgrade. Oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, I could do that. So make my boys a little bit quicker. All right, so the trade is on. We've shut down the trade. He's sending knights in, but knights just, just get speared. So there's that. Um... Eight minutes left on this business. I could trade my army into his. I think it's okay. This is very cost effective. Whatever's happening over here. Like this is just money. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. He's not paying attention. Give me those artillery pieces. Give them to me, precious. Oh yeah. Okay, he just lost all of his mangoes. Oh, that's so good. Actually, he has one left, but it's going to die soon. Kill all the mangoes. Because now we could just pull back and... and uh, Blue is raiding with his haggard horseman. I do not know what's going on here. All right, let's get you guys. Get horsemen of our own. We killed all the artillery, so that's like, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Looks like Delhi's trade is shut down. But um, we need somebody to come here. Whose laggy voice is that? It is my soldiers. All right, let's get some hand cannoneers. So um, I need to start planning here a little bit. So if we were to build this, like so. We would probably delete this. And uh, delete this, maybe. Hmm. There's really not too many great spots for me to build this. England can press from the south very easily. Yeah, look. The, tr the trade is still getting karate chopped here. He's still sending knights down. He he's actually worn down my, my guys through attrition, which is pretty funny. Let's go send some more spearmen over there. Uh, do we really need to? It looks like the hand cannoneers have it covered. Oh, never mind. He's got some dudes coming. Okay. All right. So spearmen, set over here. Run you guys back this way. So we're gonna need uh, orange. Orange, I will need your help mid. I have to let orange know that I'm gonna need him, man. We're gonna need him. Let's make some bombards. You gotta go like all hands on deck here, guys. <laughs> Tell your soldiers they need to fix their Wi-Fi. They do. The, ch the dreaded Chinese uh, Imperial Age Wi-Fi here. Okay, so 16 Spearmen plus these hand cannoneers should be able to clear out most of that. And we can potentially keep that trade in check. All right, that looks good too. Let's move up to the middle. 
Uh, Rohan, the thing is, Nemo says Rohan will answer, but Rohan has to answer because if Rohan doesn't answer, it's just game over. <laughs> it's not like Rohan's being like charitable here, right? Okay, so we got spears and hand cannons. Going to go deal with that. I'll, I'll throw me ar my army into the morass here. Um, England is not sure what they're doing. Yeah, we should be able to get the trade off here, though. Okay, let's fight. If we can kill any elephants, yeah, you can see the elephants get gunned down pretty quickly, right? So maybe with the horseman spearman combo, we're able to do well here. Looking good. The fight's going incredibly effectively. Let's uh, target the elephants if we can. But little did Rohan know they were being they were being used as a pawn by by uh, by Cyraman. All right. So we better just destroy that to be safe. Okay, let's get you down. The men at arms, unfortunately, of the Holy Romans are attacking me on accident. Seems okay. A lot of wild action going on here. Let's uh, start decapping this if we can. Yeah, that, that's a big deli Dumbo stack. It's no joke. It's a legitimate, legitimate solid Dumbo stack. So how does this look here? That's kind of like an ugly position, but do we have any choices? I mean, it does open up the water angle too, which is not good. Okay, so we got a couple double caps here. I don't really have the time for the defenses, so I'm just going to throw it up because... Is there any other glaring vulnerabilities here? I mean, aside from the water, it's just it's in the back of my base at least, so. So that's good. So they'd have to fight through. Oh, it's so laggy, I can't even place it. Alright, let's do this. Come back. Baby, come back. You <laughs> blame it all on me. Oh yeah. Alright, so we have some like random English trolling in the south. We better get down there and deal with that. Where were we? And Predator says that peace talks. Oh my god, that's so funny. Thankfully, China can build defenses very quickly. So we're going to just try and get towers and trade for a little bit of this and uh, hope for the best. So yeah, English. England is just down here with like a random ass force. This game must be put out of its misery. It must. Okay, I can't even wall here. Lovely. So Vils, is there any more wood we can go after? I guess there's some in the base, so let's just get you guys on that. And heading down. Okay, he can't get in, but okay, I might just lose my wonder here. Shit, I was, I didn't expect England to have like such a like a big blob here. All right, so come on, guys, let's go. This needs to head down here too. Let's get some cannon towers coming up. Come on, guys, where's my army at? Oh my god, English, England have they have bombards. Well, this is this could be like the most short-lived wonder of all time. This could just be bad news bears. At least it finished, right? We at least we got that going for us. Yeah, okay, I think I just lost my wonder. Damn, dude, damn. What is the positioning? The, the what are the odds that he was just sitting there right as I build it? Okay, let's see if I can at least repair through this. Okay, so the bills are coming to repair it. My army is here. We'll get you guys on the bombard cannons. I got mass repairs going. As long as the bombards get taken out, maybe we're okay. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of Chinese repairs. Come on, guys, get on the cannons, get on the cannons. It seems like we're gonna be able to repair through this, actually. Okay, he's only got one bombard cannon now, so I think we're, I think we're okay. Spears and horsemen. Let's get you guys getting on his other bombard cannon, please, if we can. Bow, yeah, the bow chads here will actually be good. We're going to make a bunch of those. All right, so I think we held, but just barely. And now we're getting attacked over here by the orange as well. So that, that really screwed us up, like, pretty bad. I think, ho hopefully England will take another, like, million years to get here, though. That's that's kind of the jam. Uh, let's go ahead and set up some more keep defenses. Yeah, they're coming up here, so we can just set up one of those. Let's get you. He must have more over here, actually. Let's get you guys back here. I think that's enough for now. All right, so the bow chads are on their way out. Let's head up north. And we need to re-secure those walls. Let's grab you guys and rebuild walls down here. And we can have the bow chads defend at sea. All right, so Orange is here. He's just destroying the periphery defenses. Um, I don't know how like close Blue's infrastructure is. Let's get you guys to do towers here. Set up a keep here also. Perfect. All right, so we held that. We just need to like, kill a couple armies, I guess, and we'll be okay. 
Um, as far as resource bank goes, let's get you guys down here, do this. You guys set up the walls. We're gonna get some chads out. The chads will be pretty good at defending that angle and we have massive naval trading. What's really good about the timing of this is, oh, Delhi's, Delhi's going for sacred. Yeah, Delhi's going for sacred. This is a little bit problematic. I wonder if Orange is gonna let that happen. Probably not, actually, probably not. Okay, he just deleted a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can get out here and fight properly. The angling of this attack is a little bit weird. Okay, battle chads are here. We're fighting the Holy Romans, but we don't really have too much. Let's go get some horsemen up here. Delhi's Delhi's gonna get the sacred, man. They're gonna get it for sure. That's tough. Uh, we lost the village. Oh, interesting, okay. Let's go build that back here. All right, let's go jump on you. Bombard cannons can't quite draw a line of sight. Let's move them out here. Uh, the chads have not popped out yet. We need to get that village going. All right, take down his bombard, 100%. Boom, bombard's down, nice. Move you guys back behind the gatehouse here. Uh-huh, looking okay. You know, everybody's getting game audio problems in this match. It's it, it, that's, that's what I've heard, so. Okay, let's send you guys back up to the front instead, please. Bombard cannons can move out. Let's get you guys rallying. Yeah. Sacred from Allied. So Allied, Allied's gonna get the Sacred, so he'll actually win before me. Not that I have too much bargaining power, but you know, I gotta, I gotta, you know, politic where I can. And you guys go here. Oh, looks like the Sacred's being contested. No, Orange is fighting him for it. Okay, that's good, actually. <laughs> he says, Allied, stop. Oh my god, I love it. He's like, Allied, please, we must be friends. Because Allied's blocking Orange's reinforcements from getting here to attack me, so it's kind of... Yeah, every player's having audio issues. It's not just me. Okay, let's get you guys. Fix that lumber camp. Got 33 vills. Um, we can just get you guys to annihilate that stone real quick. Okay, so I'm good now. Like, uh, Orange stopped Allied, so now they're going to have to work together, but let's just destroy the siege, siege infrastructure. Blue is going to come come in like a wrecking ball, I think, at some point. He'll probably come down here. Let's see how many chads we can get. Let's just get a bunch of chads. And at some point, we delete villagers. Yeah, I think we do. We got 33 guys on stone. Let's just delete these guys. All right, so now we just try and stuff wherever we can. Uh, upgrade cannon towers around the uh, sacred. I'm kind of happy to leave a bombard here. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right, so gather up, team. Yeah, the the enemy the enemies are very fragmented. I think that's true because Predator is. I think he's just hiding. I don't think he's actually like has like troops and stuff. So he might kind of be out of the picture. We'll have to see. Chad's on the way. We have the tithe barns, which is great. We got to keep this momentum up on the Holy Romans, though. The fact that we're fighting out in front of our base is just like a huge win for us. Spears too. Oh, the hand cannoneers are just going to value against those spears so hard, or against those guys. Just make some random cannon towers over here. That could intercept some of the English reinforcements. England is just mustering for round 10. Okay, so the bombards are actually killing quite a bit of infrastructure, which is good. He's got the emergency repairs here, so let's just kind of keep thumping that down until we see a threat come from somewhere else. Let's get you guys, build some towers here. Just like forward warning, so we can see the English coming. Yeah, Predator is waiting for his moment for sure. And you know what his only moment's gonna be though that will actually be feasible is if I if I get killed and he pops a wonder up somewhere. But I, I think he's, I can see where he's at. Like he's stuffed between a bunch of players, so that's very tough. So I'm killing forward infrastructure, so that's pretty valuable. Let's get the Bombards back. He's mustering a big army here. Okay. Please let Lord Jordan put this, put this game to rest. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. Okay. Um, we can build some. We do have like forward keeps in the base too. So even when they, they would have to break through. Like they're going to have to work pretty well. Monkey will have to work strong together. Uh, okay. Yeah. We'll just keep running back then. Oh, hello. You just deleted those walls. That's a little bit scary. Okay. Let's delete you guys. Let's fight. Fight. See how this goes. We have a pretty good position here, actually. 
Uh, he's gonna get a big cav flank though. So we need to get these bombards running back to the base if we can. And screen them with these units. <laughs> it just sounds like they're- it sounds like my villagers are being like overtaken by the warp. You know? Ugh, come on bombards, get back. It would be nice to keep those. Okay, England's coming. Now what I'm really excited for is the Chad defense. The bow Chad's just holding. Okay, I managed to save a couple of bombards, which is nice. And it looks like the Holy Roman Army should be defeated. England's coming from the side. I have a couple Chads waiting for them. Um, yeah, they would have to go like right here. I guess they could go up here. But I think they're going to go close to the water, so. So the Holy Roman Army was driven back. Sean, you're back from more. Uravity has left the game. Oh shit, Uravity was here the entire time watching, huh? Uh huh. More Chads, please. Let's see the English come in. I, I don't see any um, English artillery, so. Delhi has not destroyed Uravity's landmark. What the hell? Was Uravity in this game the whole time? I don't think so. All right. So, um, looking good. Let's get up here and set up a keep. We'll go loose formation, keep fighting out in front of the base. Oh, hello. Ah, yellow with the, the dreaded backstab here. Okay, so we need to get some units back here, Sat. Okay. Let's uh, park the bow chads right here. Uh, those are just... It's a very small army. It's a very small army. We need to get the bombards back, though. Could cause some problems, though, but thankfully I uh, should be able to deal with most of these horsemen. Uh, Vils, let's go after the bombard cannon. Oh my god, I can't click on it. Ugh. Can I attack this? Look, I can't... I, wait, why... Why are my villagers repairing his bombard cannon? What the hell? What is this shit? Okay, well, the French is lost. So we gotta go back into the base now. And defend on the actual landmark. Thankfully, he didn't have a good army. It's very small. And the Great, the great Wall Gatehouse is causing problems. Plus, if he gets close, the Chads will bombard anything that gets on top of it. Uh, oh, look, Predator built a wonder. What a memer. Where the hell did he build this shit? Oh my god, the Palace of the Great Khan is here. Alright, so we should get through this. 21 Vils. Let's pull you guys down here. Repair this. Uh, the English player is coming to... S oh, dear God. Dear Lord in heaven. Oh, and I'm lagging. I can't control anything. No. No. Oh, my God. It crashed. No. Oh, no. No, dude. Relic, why are you like this? Why do you have to be like this? Can't you just optimize it so we can play? My computer's not that bad. God, dude. I think we lost it, though, though. Because that guy had, like, 15 bombards over there. Maybe we stuff them and, and are okay. Maybe. Oh, what a freaking blue ball, dude. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, I'm not the only one who crashed. Okay, it looks like everybody crashed. I'm just looking at my settings. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like... Yeah, it actually looks the same as usual. Huh. All right, well, I guess we'll do some 1v1s now. Dude. Yeah, we might have stopped him. Naran, I, I know, I saw you had just built a wonder. Big F. Big F indeed. Like, I don't mind if it crashes early. Prince crashed. Everybody crashed. Everybody crashed. So, Uravity saying it did this last night for you guys in an FFA as well. So, it seems like there's, like, just an issue on Relic side, guys. You know, I was, like, excited to get back into streaming a bunch of age, but, like, dude, if that's just going to happen every FFA, like, how can we even do it? All right. Let's, uh, let's queue for some ranks. Let's get some 1v1s. This is literally the Dawn of War 2 sound bug. It is! Come on! Google claims a lot of people suffer from this bug lately, says Misha. They're peeling. Yeah. Well played. That was a really good game, though. Caleb, I, I think you might have got... You might have been able to get my wonder there, Caleb. I did... Like, you, you came in from a, a really good angle away from my coast where I had the chads waiting, and you uh, you moved in well. Go roost for a 1v1. I don't know what we're going to play. Yeah, that was definitely not fun, man. Yeah, well, thank you guys for joining anyways. We're going to keep going. We'll do some 1v1s now. Man, I guess we'll avoid FFAs for today until I can find some sort of a solution for that. Or um, enjoy the sound bug for AoE 4 for the next 10 years. Oh, I guess we do smaller FFAs, right? Like maybe like four to six player ones. Have, have you guys seen that being a solution? Dude, Caleb, you were doing really good, man. You were definitely trolling me on the side there. Like a million bombards. 
Dude, it's like Sauron has returned. Like, just the unholy terror. What a disappointment that is. Ah, oh, what a shame. All right. Cool. Haven't played a game in a little while. We're on one of my favorite maps, and we're just facing a dreaded Conqueror here. Probably quite a bit stronger, although he's on a losing streak, so and we got that going for us. Uh, let's go French. There's no <laughs> there's no bugs. Those are features. 1v1 French regression. Yeah, we're going to get a little aggressive here. I, I wanted to practice this kind of play style anyways, so we'll see what happens. All of your elephants... Dude, your elephants were tyrannical. I don't know if we're going to do another FFA. After that, like, I don't want to play for another friggin' two hours and then just have it crash. Like, until I can figure it out. I'm going to do some research. Okay, Chinese versus French. Yeah, we just get aggressive here. Probably going to barbecue and cheese me or something. That was a really good game still, though. Still fun to watch. So hopefully people watching back will enjoy that one. Man. What a bummer. What a bummer. Okay, so let's get you guys going on the old sheep here. Let's grab you. Go grab those. Everything seems good so far. I haven't screwed up anything. Professor Pwn is cackling. Oh, for sure. He's like, he's like, good. Turn will come play Warcraft 3 with me. Instead of this. Alright. So looking good. Let's move down here. Go scout on the other side. Sheep. For the sheep gods. Skulls for the sheep throne. You posted on the sound issue about the AoE Discord. Yeah, hopefully it's something they fix, dude. Because, dude, that never happened before, like, ever. It was it was unheard of. Not having a great run of sheep. Ugh! Oh, man, that was close. All right, so let's go up here and then head to the middle. Because he's going he's gonna to head off that area first, right? A really good gold spot, though. That's, that's very secret and safe. Oh. Very secret and safe, Precious. Let's go to the middle. Yeah, we're going to do some 1v1s. I mean, I don't know how many. You know, I wanted to do a cast at FFA today. We might cut the stream a little bit short until I can go offline and do some research on possible solutions for this problem. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, head down here, buddy. You head to the middle. Let's see if you can find any sheep here. Looks like he's already there, man. He's uh, He's been covering ground. We'll go see if he checked his corner. That's I think that's what we're going to do. So we will go three there. Get one more on food. We should probably just come drop you off, actually, so we don't run out of food in the main. And let's see if he missed anything in his base. That's going to be the game plan. Yeah, man. It's going to be great. We'll uh, we'll get a big, scary French cat force going, which is always fun. Hopefully he doesn't tower rush me. I hope we get a, a good, a good clean game here. Tower rushes are just so lame. It's so lame, dude. All right, so let's move over here, head up to the hill. Yeah, so clearly he's he's aware of that. And the, you know, that's the contested ground there. Check here. Go down here. I'm going to check the corner. Yep, no sheep. No sheep at all. All right. Let's get these sheep a little bit gathered under here so it's a little bit more efficient. Going to get a little bit of wood going so we can build an archery range at tier 2. It's China, so, you know, like, French late game is good. It's pretty strong in my experience. Oh, he did get that sheep curses. Um, but it's not like, you don't want to be fighting late game China. Late game China is just like unholy. I mean, I guess if you can gold starve them, you can beat late game China. That really, I suppose, is kind of the paradigm of that. All right, turn you in. Set up, go here. Um, let's go turn in the sheep, I guess. Yeah, we, we did okay. I think he beat us ever so slightly on the sheep game. Ever so slightly, to the point where it's not that significant. Still, could be a deciding factor, I suppose. All right, so I'm not seeing any Barbican rushes. So that's the thing. I'm not terribly practiced right now, so... What an unsatisfactory finish. You're, you're telling me, dude. All right, so... A couple more turn-ins here, and we should get it. Hey, look at that. We found a sheep. Okay, that evens out the sheep game a little bit. We'll explore the whole map. You go up the middle. See what landmarks he's doing. Probably going to go like some Song Dynasty shenanigans or something. We'll have to see. Yeah, what's really good about French is they can fight in feudal for like forever, right? I would wager he's probably teching up at this point. Okay, let's do this. Wow, that didn't give us enough. Are you serious? Oof. We're going to need a little bit more then. We're going to need a little bit more. Okay, let's go scout here. I see his dreaded uh, trolls in the in the forest here, having some jollies at my expense. 
Got a little bit close, actually. Get you guys, build, and let's go for the School of Cav. Let's see if we can surround him here. Hey, he might actually lose the scout. He's not paying attention. <laughs> All right, let's see if he, if he comes back. Okay, we'll get some more of you guys on food. This guy can come back here. Let's run the injured one over here. Have him do a little bit of this. Oh, uh, does he want it? How bad does he want it? Not bad enough, apparently. Let's go sit down here. Make sure he's not doing some weird tower shit. Some tower cheese. We need to stay on, uh, obviously, on, on, the, on the gold here, right? If we want to keep producing knights and things like that. Yeah, typically you have to... You know, um, is he going to tower cheese? I don't know. Let's let's go like C and scout over here. And we have one decent angle kind of explored. I did idle vills for a minute, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Just a little bit of potato play for me, but could be worse. Could be worse. Oh, I still have the game sound off because of the because uh, of the what's it called the bugs we had. All right, perfect. So we should be okay now. We're going to get the archers coming out. I almost want to go two TC with the amount of stone we have or the amount of wood. Yeah, it's kind of kind of tempting. All right, so School of Cab will be coming up. We're hurting on food pretty bad. Let's get you over here. As long as we don't idle anymore, we'll get our first night coming out. And I'm not seeing Tower Rush cheese coming, so I think we're okay there. And these guys will all be jumping on food as well, so we should be pretty comfortable after this. All right, great. So, archer range. And let's go ahead and get you as well for the free upgrade, because French get, you know, just a free upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, okay. He's got a little bit of raiding going on over here. Yeah, he, he pushed them away. I don't know if it was, like, intentional or whatever, but it's still pretty nice. Alright, so we'll get a French Knight soon. We're just a little bit hurting on food because my build order wasn't great. A little bit rusty, guys, so bear with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. First French Knight's gonna pop out. Start harassing into the Chinese lands. And, uh, we can start getting some archers as well. Get you guys on wood. Pop here. House. Alright, great. So the first night will come out. Hopefully we can get a little bit of harass going. It's 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 a it's a it's a journey. Let's go do some scouting here. Uh we can actually gather over here. I think that's gonna be the play. We might want to set up a forward tower just to support our push. We obviously will have siege engineering in the books too. Let's get another knight coming. So the knight's gonna go look for villager picks, whereas the rest of the army is going to go here and here. An approach from this side. I think that's what we want to do. You know, we're gonna have wheelbarrow, and what's crazy about French is you can like press like this, but you don't necessarily you're not like as all in as you are with some other factions, right? The infamous scout auto attack. I know you better fear it, dude. You better put some respect on that scout's name. Uh huh. We'll have enough food here in a minute. All right, let's get in here. Let's move into the gold. See if he's guarding it. He's watching elsewhere. Yes, precious. Yes, good. Give me the villagers. Oh, barbecue's right there. Okay, so, yeah, we need to change our trajectory of attack, actually. Uh-huh. Go here. And the knight can get back into the gold line, and we want to pull, uh, probably just one villager up, just to build the tower there. Okay, so he's scouting me. Is he not building any units? We got a little bit of work in there. Okay. Build a house. The two knights are moving in. We can get them to join with the other Grail companion. And yeah, he's got barbecue on this side, so that side is just like super fortified, so there's not much of a much sense in attacking that there. The archers are on the way. Let's get him up here. Get you right here, and uh, we can start pressuring this position. All right, we should probably jump here now. I think we have enough gold. Is he mining? He's not mining gold, probably all in on wood to start building his own military. Let's see if we can get the scout. Let's raid right into the lumber line. Get the uh, supervisor if he's going to let us. Nope, not going to let us. Okay. Is he not building anything? Like, that's kind of weird. Let's get siege engineering. Let's see if we can get you. Nice. I think we're going to get him. Perfect. Uh, we need to get the grail juice too. Yeah, we just need more gold for that. Gonna get another one of these guys. Perfect. So, boom and boom. Uh, we don't need to build horsemen. Nice. Nice, nice. That's been pretty solid for us. 
All right, so pulling you out. Let's get the archers in. Get more knights in over here. Got 12 of you guys. Let's go get you on the deer. Although, I think there's berry bushes over here. We can just slay those bad boys. Start poking down the house. Yeah, so he's building spearmen. Um, we want to get the grail juice as soon as possible. So let's get the really injured knight. Just have him, like, chill in the bushes. And siege engineering is going to be kicking in here soon as well. So yeah, it's been going good so far, I would say. We've, we've killed, like, two or three officials, and... He's going to be losing a house here, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and scoot back here and see if we can cause any drama. And uh, we probably want to get a little bit on stone just so we can build a arrow emplacement. So let's move you guys back here. Uh-huh. Archers, please. Is he mining? He is, but I don't know if he's going to... Okay, let's get you. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so he's got a tower back there, but yeah, he's, he's, he's in, I would say, a little bit of danger. Homeboy's in the danger zone. We'll get the magical grail juice soon. Let's actually just get that right now. So the knights can start healing. And, uh, cool. So now we go Ramstein and we just, like, press into the back here. Keep getting knights. Gotta, gotta soup up the lumber. Yeah, we've done good, though. We've done good so far. Considering I don't play French much, I, I'm very proud of this. Okay, make another tower. Get a little bit more Ramstein going. Let's go see what it looks like here. I know he's got some stuff. He's, he's going to see us coming. It's super obvious. But the knights don't really care about towers too much. Okay, so he's got some spears. Let's just keep getting that critical mass of units. That's just basically how French plays, right? You just get like a ton of shit. Let's get the melee armor against the spearmen. Okay, looking good. We have the berry bushes. We have this main business here. Just keep gathering units. Probably want to get a second archery range, I think. That would probably be smart. What has he got going here? Oh, he's, 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 he's checking us out. He's potentially going to run out of um, resources, too, or run out of food. So let's actually go get a tower, like, right here. Because he's, he's probably going to switch to food up there. You always got to be thinking of these things. All right. Food's going good. We can honestly potentially do a castle age too. He's 2 TC though. That's that's actually kind of scary. All right, let's get that supervisor. That's fresh fish. Mm, is he going to get to the main base? It looks like it. Okay. Okay, so how are our Grail Knights doing? The Grail Knights are good. We have one healing in the trees. Let's jump in there. Cool. Then you come over here. Let's move into there again. Keep the archers back. He must have Spearman just chilling here. Let's see how many he's got. Oh, he's only got two. He's not probably not mining gold right now, though. We, if we can deny the gold mining, then I think we're sitting pretty comfortable. So let's go up here and here. Looks like he's doing a little bit of a ride by on us. Rams. All right, looking good. If we just deny the gold, then he's not going to be able to advance, obviously, right? Set up an arrow set right there. Set up one right here. And do we want to try and fight back here? I guess we can. Yeah, it's fine. Way too much on stone at the moment. That was a little bit sloppy. Okay, we got one of his guys down there. Yeah, see, I, I knew this was going to happen. This was going to be his like big epicenter over here. But now is an opportunity for us to... Hmm, do we want to go over there and crush that? Yeah, I think so. I think we do. So we go up here, let's get you guys going right here. Archers, knight. We need to crush that like right now, because that's the only way he's gonna progress, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess the stone wasn't terrible, because now we can just we can we can really fortify that position. In open field, he shouldn't have too much of a chance against us. It should be pretty bad. Okay, so let's get you up here. Take the knights. Get the grail companions. You buddy can just chill over here. I should have seen that coming. I should have reacted to that sooner because that would have just won ended the game. I would have just won, basically. Ooh, he's actually got a big army now, too. Shit, I could just be dead. Man, how, how could I let him do that? Got Zhugnu. Okay, so he's going after this. It's a little bit dangerous to take this fight here, so we're probably just going to have to give up the ram and just focus on all ending that, um, that little top engagement there. Uh, can we win this? I don't think so. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Although we do have some upgrades coming. The ram is the ram is going to pay the toll. 
He's being denied off these resources. Let's get in uh, back here with one of the knights. Uh-huh. More knights, please. You guys come over here and hunt the boar. Yeah, I might have... Uh, letting him get that might have just lost me the game. Because he would otherwise be starved right now. Okay, let's do this. Get us the dreaded boar food. But if we can win a big fight and drive him back there, maybe. Okay, let's uh, let's go here. More of this. You guys have done that. So let's get this mill. Good. He does have a lot of spears. Uh, let's get the ranged armor on our guys against the Zhugnu. That's going to be a huge damage reduction. And we'll be pushing in a second. We will. Let's grab a couple of you guys. Set up a tower here. We do have these towers, so he's not going to be able to expand that direction. So everything is kind of focused on this side, really. Uh-huh. And you guys come down. And is there any more berry bushes we can go after? There are some up here. Very good. Got to plan ahead. Okay, some more archers. You five can get on this. And we are ready to go. All right, so let's get over here. Those vills will hopefully get here on those towers. All right, so let's get you guys. One and two. Okay, so let's get the knights over here. See what we can get done. We got a Zhugnu there. We're going to need to get some big eco damage. So let's torch those down see if we can. Okay, good. We're getting villager kills, which is exactly what we need to get back in this game. Yeah, nice, nice. He's losing a lot of villagers and, and military as well. Okay, so let's get the knights back into the base. Or where is he? What is he doing? Okay, yeah. Actually, Barbican's a little bit dangerous there. We actually just got a lot of bills, though. I'm very happy about that. Oh, he's ramming my base? What the hell? For real? Okay. So we'll come back. He's got some random Zhugnu hiding in the bushes here. Hopefully we can just torch these guys down. Yeah, his army seems a little bit disconjointed. I'm not sure what he's doing. I, I don't know if I agree with the ram play from him. I mean, maybe it'll work. But, like, he could have just gone castle, right? But now he's just losing a ton of random shit and these two rams. Okay, let's finish this ram and then just uh, garrison up. Okay, should be fine. Let's go stop this position. I, I don't think he makes much progress here. Not with the TC. Yeah, so we just go and kill this. Uh-huh. So let's get this. Get these archers to shoot the spears. And uh, just keep picking off these military units. Let's get you guys back. Champion Lumber. Alright, so yeah. We should just buckle this position. He does have another one coming back. Oof. A little bit tense, but um, we'll start gathering some dudes at home. He's going to take a lot of eco damage here. Like, a lot. Yeah, what does his army look like? Let's get in here, start just taking out whatever we can. That's pretty nice, man. That's pretty nice. Let's get our archers home. Just let the knights just rampage now. That's, that's more or less what the plan's going to be. Okay, so we need archers. We got 15 dudes. Let's head over here. Oh my god, they're not on the boar. Wow, that was bad. Okay, run you guys into the hills. Archers come back. Archers come back. You can blame it all on me. Okay. Archers, you guys are on your way home. You guys run into his wood line a little bit. Although, mm, these guys are pretty valuable. We need to keep them alive. Yeah, so we did some good damage there. I don't know if it like equalized the situation, but it was certainly not terrible. I think it's actually, we probably go 2 TC here now. So let's get those knights back. Let's get these archers in position. Wow, four rams. Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's go here, 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 and here. Pull these archers in and uh, push back the army. Uh-huh. Maybe we can trade into these Zhugnu. I'm not sure. We got to save the TC, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to, actually. He might just get us. It's going to be... It's a good game regardless. Okay, so the knights are coming back. Let's get them over here. Ooh, man, we, we might struggle to recover from this. We are going to hold it, um, but we're, we're losing a shit ton of villagers. All right, let's get the boar. Uh, you guys can go jump on this, whatever. Oh, shit, that was my last landmark. Yeah, it's over anyways. So, um, GG, well, well played. I'm curious how far behind we were. We were in an okay spot. Like, maybe if we hold that, I, I think his vill count was... Yeah, no, it just occurred to me. I was like, oh my god, that's my last landmark. But I could have pulled everyone and repaired it, but I don't know. Let's look at what his... So here's the situation. I have a lot of archers. I have a fair amount of knights. But 
He still has... Um, okay, uh, it was over. Guys, it was over. 100% over. He had 62 villagers. No, there's... In his base. GG well played, though. He played a good game. It was... It was a close one. We we uh, if we had denied him that side camp earlier and built a single tower there, we win that game. He because it let him get all that food. He was out of resources in his base after the initial pin. Yeah, we just needed to trap him. GG man, he played really well. Great scrappy play for my opponent. Great scrappy play. No, he guys, he had way more villagers in his base. He was two. Who's two TC song? Ooh, another conqueror player. Interesting. We're playing. Yeah, he's con conqueror one. That's where I was last season. So. Um, on the pit, that was fun. Um, let's go Roos. I really like playing Roos. I'm not very good at them, honestly. I should just be playing English if I want to get wins, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, well, that's how he was building so many rams. That's how he built so many rams. Uh, I should have just gone English, dude. I'm not very good at Roos. What am I doing? Uh, against a Conqueror player, too, and he's on Holy Romans. Uh, all right, we got this, baby. Let's go. Game face. Uh, what do we do? 2TC? 2TC with with Relic Denial? Horses? Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to find out. All right, let's get you up here. Build this. Cool. Drop off the little sheep, and you go do this, lady. All right. That was really haggard, but it's okay. And uh, we can build a house. So boom, boom. We found the first uh, big deer camp, so we need to, for sure, start slaying those bad boys. And uh, you head up here. Great. So, Roost, we need to get the bounty. The, I would say the pit is pretty good for a bounty. There's usually quite a bit. And uh, we can get you guys up on lumber. All right, yeah, that's, it's going good. We have a couple camps we can go for, and we do have a dread wolf, so let's get the, the dread beast and uh, take it with us on a little adventure while we go look for more deer. All right, looking fine. We got more dudes coming out. Should be able to get a third. So HRE, huh? So one, two, and three. Take them down real quick if possible. Uh, we need to get a lumber camp. That's right. Okay. It's been a while since I have played some age. Yeah, we'll just kill the wolf. We'll kill the dreaded Pieski as it attacks us back here. All right, looking good. So standard opening here. I would say it's going somewhat smoothly. We've gotten a couple hunt camps and that wolf should be falling. Let's take down that other wolf and we haven't seen any horsemen really out of the Holy Romans. So let's get another uh, another dude to come out and look for some of the game on the map. So what's nice about Roos is with the walls, you can, uh, you can of course, get those really cheap wood walls around the relics and it, it can be tricky for HRE to uh, get, get through those, right? It takes them some time, so... Fast Castle is an option against Holy Romans. I like the 2TC crossbow kind of style of play. I think that's going to be very good. Why do I feel like I have should have more bounty than I than I do? Okay, here's one of the boars. Let's go to the edge of the map and see what we can find. Let's go up here, 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 and here. And looking okay, perfect. We'll get the wooden fortress soon. Yeah, he, he obviously took out his game here. Um, we probably want to bring back some of you guys right now. How are we looking here? We see a scout. Okay. So, hey, we found a deer camp. All right, great. So, let's make sure to get this. Go here. You're scouting out there. And we'll get a house up here. Outstanding. All right, team. We do have three three dudes. Might be a little bit overkill, but I think with Roos, it's pretty... Oh, come on. Get the angle. Get the angle. Okay, we got the angle. That was pretty big, actually. If he had gotten those sheep, I would have been really bummed out. Oh, no. Why are you attacking the sheep? Bring it back to the base. Okay, nice boar position. That's really, really good. We're going to be able to feast on that thing for sure. All right, so let's bring these back. Do this and this so we don't run out of food in our main base. Keep going here. You go up and through the middle. Where are the Abbasid mains at? Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of them around. Abbasid are, Abbasid are good. They're really not bad. I think Abbasid are pretty good in 1v1. A little weak in FFA, like poor Super Oxide earlier just... Having to suffer with one landmark, you know, it's like that's that's uh, that's never fun. Yeah, it's never fun. All right, so now it's time to go troll with these guys against Holy Romans. You definitely want to be denying their gold if you can. So if we can get like uh, like some early cab pressure on it, set up the wooden fortress. The wooden fortress is just good because it gives you extra extra goodies, right? So yeah, so two thirty bounty. It's okay. It's a shame we didn't get the two fifty. Although, we, uh, that's actually not true. We will get it from the sheep, so let's get this. So let's bonk you on the head. 
Spawn you on the head. Okay, here's his TC. So you're going to garrison up to try and snipe me? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Perfect. And let's bonk another sheep on the head. And let's bonk you too. That'll get us our 250, which is going to be a, an extra percentage on our, uh, our supply gathering. All right, so let's get everyone down here. So we get, did get the 250. Great. So now we have an extra 5% gather rate. Uh, he's got his dude there trying to get us. Okay, that's interesting. Should be okay. We'll get a stable as soon as we get to the second age. And then we uh, we just go like crossbows and crossbows and all that sort of goodness. Um, his gold, I think, is over here. Is he still attacking me for real? We might be able to just get this guy too. Check it out. So let's build this. And garrison. So I think that's going to kill a scout. He's going to notice it right now, but we should get him. Yeah, he's pretty trapped up there. And one more set. Great. So we just lost a scout. That's pretty nice. So we got berry bushes here. I think we definitely have to be aggressive against Holy Romans. Like, we really want to be. Um, so let's get you down and you down. We're going to start, like, walling all these if we can. Force those guys back a little bit. Aachen is here. Oh, shit. I was like, I was like, I need to tech. I am forgetting something. So let's get the Golden Gate. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game today, guys. I'm sorry. I was like, am I already in the second age? It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get it quickly. We can just get more guys on it. And uh, we can start, you know, the, the great walling of, uh, of the relics. So his gold is on the other side. This is his food. That's where his Aachen is. Okay. So we got some Vils hustling out across the map. And we shouldn't be that far behind him, even though we, we literally had the means to attack for like 10 years. Huh, you know, considering Holy Romans and their dogs really like the, um, really like the what's it called right now, and he lost his scout, which is on the other side, I'm going to try a really, really strange tactic. Like, really strange. Which is going to be, um, well, firstly, let's wall this. Okay, let's wall that. I'm going to do a double spearman push, like on this side, since every Holy Roman just copy paste the, copy pastas like the, the pro players. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And, uh, and and do a Spearman Rush. This this could actually be pretty strong, potentially. Like, if he's not prepared for this, this could really catch him off guard. Alright, so let's go over here. His gold is obviously in this realm. Relics are going to be walled. Let's get this. Let's just try weird shit and see what sticks, you know? Okay, so he's chasing this villager back to the base. Uh-huh, we got Spearman coming. We're gonna get a little bit aggressive here. Let's try let's try some new tactics, man. We all we already know the good stuff, right? More or less. He has no idea this is coming. Yeah, he's got a tower here. But if we just get like 50 spearmen, we can totally bunker bust through that. Right? Yeah, oh it's a spearman ram push, right? That could be really, really cool. Alright, so yeah, we oh we buy we buy wood with the uh with the business. As long as he doesn't just, like, scout this anytime soon, I think we're chilling. Okay, I kind of like this. This is kind of fun. Uh, can we do this? Okay, now now the the schemes are up, so we're going to try and get uh, a forward position with which to get aggressive here. He's going to come in, and we have our three dudes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just keep fighting here. Get the tower going. We have Spearman. The dreaded double Spearman push. Who would ever expect this? I like this. I like this. This is kind of interesting. I mean, it it definitely throws a wrench in his like normal kind of like game plan, right? Let the Spearman feast. If he comes in and tries, we can just shank him with spears, right? So here we go. There's one down. Okay, so let's just guide him a little bit. Run back. Oh, we got a surround! The RTS surround, baby! Yeah, see, now he's making men-at-arms, which is not what you want to be doing when you're playing these guys. All right, so we got the siege engineering. So let's go ahead and mix in a stable now. Oh, no. Why are you not building this lady? One of the men-at-arms did fall. It looks like we should finish it. Let's just run Benny Hill around here and try and get some more building time. Okay, so that's done. Let's get in the tower. Okay. Let's get you in there, which is good. So that should be able to reach the uh, the miners here. And then we start on the rams. 
We can't quite reach him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, anyways, we could just have you guys just mine or whatever. Okay, I'm liking this. Let's buy some food now and let's get some uh, horsemen coming in. Or maybe some roost knights. How much are they? They're 100 gold? Okay, so we need to we need to sell a little bit of this. Okay, so this is good. We have a, a position with which we can push. So even if we can't quite reach him there, it's it's still like a, a nice angle. Um, let's go ahead and get the melee attack buff and get a tower. All right, so we'll get you heading in. The thing is, if he attacks, the tower should reach him here. And now what we need to do is actually get on a little bit of gold mining. Yeah, the ram is going to be a bit of a problem for him, though, because anyone that goes towards the ram should get popped in the face. Yeah, see, those guys are in tower range now, see? So that's kind of the magic of it. Can pull you back. Pull these vills to repair it. Yeah, he's getting towered, but so am I. Okay. So as long as he's not getting to the, the next age here, then I'm okay. We're going to have some knights here soon. So let's repair. Keep the spears coming in. He's probably like, what the hell is this Bronzodia strategy that this guy's doing? Yeah, his guys are a little bit beat up, but we should have enough for another ram here in a second. All right, let's do another ram. Mm -hmm. We got knights on the way. We have upgrades. Seems pretty good. Let's go up here and just set up near the... Uh, near the berry bushes. That should sustain our food efforts. And we're getting gold. Yeah, getting to the next age is gonna be tricky for sure. But now that we have knights in here, like he's gonna, if he stops producing units, he could just die. There is a boar over here too. Okay, let's fight. Let's get the knight in there. So the knight's gonna go hunt villagers in the meantime. So we'll see if we can break this position. Yeah, he's targeting... Okay, the spears are definitely wearing them down. The dreaded emergency repairs. The fact that bills are here is good. Oh my god, they didn't build it. Wow, that's terrible. That might have actually set me back pretty bad. He's lost most of the units here, though. The Spearman Haggard Legion has, has gotten it done. Okay, let's buy some food, I guess. Yeah, most of his army's dead, but so too is mine, I suppose. But this is going to force him off gold. Oh, we got another knight here. Very clutch. All right, let's garrison our spears in there to prevent them from getting shot. Okay, so we jump you out. We have a knight. So now he's pushed off gold, which all his gold are on this side. And uh, we need to we need to maybe start thinking about a second TC here. We'll keep the aggression on, but the fact that that didn't build is so shitty. Let's get the wheelbarrow. This is kind of working a little bit, actually. Let's go over here and get some towers set up on these other food sources so we don't lose like we did last game because of some stupid shit. All right, let's get some more spears going. We can definitely set up some farms if we want to around the base. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, let's get another farm set up. Yeah, overall, this has been pretty good, man. He's like... Oh, he has castle age, though. Shit, I, didn't, I did not even notice that. Wow. Homeboy got castle right under my nose. But if he doesn't have any gold, you know, then, then maybe we're going to be okay. Let's get on that house. Okay, we'll get the prelate. And you but you guys can set up uh, here. Get one of you guys coming over here to do this tower. And uh, I guess we do go with the double TC. I don't know. I felt like we've, we, we did good enough to keep him in the potato age, but I guess not. All right, let's get the rams back. So do we still have any relics on the map? I think he got this one. We'll go put a spearman down there. He might be able to find a way. Okay, so pretty close to the second TC. Yeah, he's already over there. Hmm. So let's go this way. If he's going to bash down the walls here, it's going to take a while. Yeah, it's going to take him a while. All right, let's head to the other side. See if we can get do something there. Okay, so second TC is coming. Wheelbarrow's on the way. Walling this one up, and we do... Okay, he only got one relic so far, so... Really not too bad. Oh wow, he's actually gonna let us finish that? No, he's not. Okay. I was gonna say, that, that's probably not gonna happen. All right, let's get you guys down here. Sprint up and across, try and get some eco damage happening. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know how this game's going. I, I really am clueless. Let's get on this. See, most of his army's down here. Those three scouts were trapped. Let's see if we can escape them. Okay, we've driven him off food again. We're going to get some villager kills, which is nice. He does have a couple men-at-arms. 
Uh, can we circle beat them? Yeah, we can. Meanwhile, if we get that tower up, that's going to deny him food for quite some time. Okay, so we have enough janky spears here to do the trick. Okay, let's get you set up. We got the 2TC now. And the Tower of Doom is coming. We just need a little bit longer. Mm, villager, you finish this. Let's get you down here to wall this one. Okay, he's pushed off food. Which is pretty big. We have a farm economy in 2TC. I mean, as long as he doesn't just march to my base and kill me. Oh, yeah. More eco damage, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, nice. We just got a bunch of bills. Oh, oh my god. He's taking so much eco damage, guys. He's taking so much. All right, so let's get a spring all tower here. Get you guys garrisoned in there, and then the rest of you can just kind of fight. The horsemen can do a little bit of raiding. So now we need to just get to the next age, basically. Loop you guys around. We have this, so let's see if we can get this tower set up real quick, or this wall system. Not the most optimal, but I'm kind of in a hurry, so I don't have much of a choice here. Uh, we're going to need some archery ranges when we get to the next age, like immediately. So that's going to be very, very big there. All right, so let's torch these down. Let's go over here, take you out. Yeah, he's going to get this one. All right, all hands off deck. Flee the scene. <laughs> Flee the city. Yeah, he's still getting relics, though. Despite this pressure, he's still getting relics, which could cost me. Thankfully, though, we are getting a little bit of random pressure around the map. We need to just go to the next age, like teleport magically. All right, so let's grab you guys. Uh, let's go with the high trade house, actually. Yeah, that's going to be better. That'll get help us pace with gold with him. All right. Yeah, here he comes. He's hunting. It's going to be really hard to actually, if he comes to our base, to stop him. Hopefully he doesn't get that idea. Okay, let's get you in here. Jump up. Okay. Oh, thank the dark gods. He's going for the relics. If he if he had just come straight to my base, guys, I think I'm like in serious danger. Okay, so we need to just like go under like so and get into his lumber line here. Thankfully, he's going there. Uh, we have the triple archery range. Gonna need this for sure. And let's build some uh, houses up here. Yeah, okay, he's just going relics. I don't know how much I'm going to get from High Trade House. I'm actually genuinely curious. Let's see. Uh, 170 minute, ain't the, that ain't bad. Okay, so let's buy some food. Start getting crossbows. Get the damage for the crossbows. Move into the eco line. I mean, he's definitely been suffering in terms of like map control and stuff. All right, so that, yeah, we're going to lose those guys, but it is it is what it is. It's a, The troll toll has to be paid somewhere. Okay, so let's get you. Do a big wall of doom across. Okay, we got like four or five bills right there, which is good. And soon we'll have a crossbow army. So that should, should counter him in theory. We have the 2TC. We have the power. Okay, we don't want to make any men at arms. They're kind of a waste of money, to be honest. Because HRE ones are just so dominant against us. All right, let's get back on wood. Uh, can we actually stop this relic from being taken? Yeah, I think we can. That's kind of nice. And then we can get the uh, a monastery of our own and try and get some of the relics. And uh, let's go ahead and buy some stone, get a spring alden placement here. Okay, we need to target that prelate down. Let's crossbow him in the face. Crossbows, we just need triple crossbows all day. All right, so we got most of the relics, but we have 2TC map control. I think his relics will probably even that out a little bit. Okay, let's keep scooting and shooting, picking these guys off if we can. And maybe get some knights in there too. Although he does have the maces, so. One way we could like get it back is if we, um, yeah, we don't have enough for a prelate at the moment or one of our religious dudes. Yeah, knights don't seem good. Just, just, just chaff with crossbows. Usually in my experience, it's pretty darn good. Okay, so now we got a spring tower here. Let's go see if we can save the middle from going down. We have 26 idle bills, classic. Uh, they were all on food. So let's just sw switch into a farm economy now, if we can. Yeah, that's going to be big. All right, so let's get you guys, build farms. Build some houses here. 
Are we going to be able to secure the middle? I don't think so. No, he's going to get it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Let's park you guys here to make sure some random prelate doesn't grab that. All right, so we secured that. Uh, we do have a boar up here, so let's go kill the boars. If we can, maybe we can take some of our bills over there to go help out with that. Build some farms over there. And uh, spears, yes, you guys do this. He's got to be sitting pretty on most of his primaries. Uh, the high trade house, uh, the income stays the same. It stays the same. It doesn't, it, it's whatever, it, when you placed it, it was at, is what it does. Let's get a little bit of stone. Get you guys here. We don't even need to send our army there, to be honest. And uh, you guys can come over and we can set up some uh, some walls across the pitch. You need to keep tabs on where the Holy Romans are at at all times here. All right, so we got some freebies. Just some random men at arms going to be paying the price. And we got a relic, which is cute. All right, very nice. We're going to get a keep set up in the middle, I'm thinking. We have the hunting cabin of doom. More of these guys. More spearmen, please. The middle, I would really, really like to. These guys are going to get pulled for uh, for the goods. We can, again, farm the high trade house. Okay, how are we looking? Good job, team. We have somebody building these walls. We do, so this side is more or less secure. Uh, the boar camp here. Let's turn some of you guys in. Go finish this off, because that's actually a pretty reasonable camp here. And do I want to get any sort of artillery? Might not be a bad idea, just to get like a mango or two. Problem is he's going to be imp very soon. Like very, very soon. Okay, let's do that. Build a gate. Decap that if we can. You guys are back here and we almost have enough stone. So we just need a little bit more. We have the 2TC advantage, man. I mean, it should be pretty substantial. We're not French. But, um, you know, we try our best. All right, so let's use that as a distraction. Turn in. Come set up a keep here in the middle. And that will deny gold, too. If we can set this up, then I think we uh, really get a huge advantage. Like a huge, huge advantage. Okay, so this is being decapped. Is he going to respond to the keep, or is he going to respond to the, the side here? Okay, he was going imp. So I have a little bit of time before he gets, like, super far ahead. All right, so setting up the keep here. No siege equipment. We really need this, guys. We really, really need this. Let's get you over here on that sacred... You guys do this. Let's get some lumber upgrades. Get some men, I guess, mixed in there. Whatever, it's fine. And uh, do we have enough to build some towers here? That would be nice as well. Alright, so let's move up and see if he can poke this. Like, if he tries to fight under this, it's not going to be great. And uh, we just need to get some map control, man. The, the fact that he got four relics is really not good, despite our pressure. All right, so we're grabbing sacreds. It's going to take him a while to really feel the fruit of his, his, his progression, right? It's going to take a while. But, you know, denying him off gold isn't really that strong. All right, so let's get you up here, buddy, and then down there. Okay, so we can honestly just look to go imp now ourselves, and uh, what we're going to do is just go Streltsy. Streltsy are just so, so good here. So let's get you guys pulling in. We want to get more archer ranges. One, two. You're going to need more uh, melee as well. Can we get another wall through there? Yeah, nice. That's one funny thing Roos can do on these maps. He's going to have a bombard soon. We should. Hmm, do we want to get springs? Probably springs. Yeah, he's he's going to go for bombardos. We're not going to go high armory, I don't think. It, I'm thinking Chad Sky Tower. So that will put a little bit of sacred pressure on him, which is cute, but it's nothing that he can't just like karate chop here. All right, so towers, very, very close to where we want to be. Okay. And uh, springs, we already have a spring coming, I think. Do we have one? Yeah, we have one about to pop out, nice. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, is we go Chad Sky a tower on the side, maybe, or do we, I think we go Chad Sky in the middle, actually. I can't tell you how many games I've had, like, won by Chad Sky. So let's just get this fast guy like right here. And you guys can build it right up in his face, which is very aggressive, but I'm hoping it'll pay off. Yeah, so we don't have anyone on gold right now, which is kind of bad, but it's okay. Let's uh, jump you guys up. You guys can go get on these berry bushes over here. So we got all three sacreds, man. I mean, things could be a lot worse for sure. Um, 
Ah, oh, he's got a tower there. Okay, he's just popping our poor villager as they try and do that. No worries. So it's it's almost uh, Streltie time. This fast guy is going to be money. Uh, do we have enough? 250 golds. Again. We got the spring power. What is hitting us now? Yeah, Trebs. Okay. If I could pop that, that would be super nice. All right, let's get you guys on gold. Be nice to get that gold in the middle. Like, take the gold away from him first, right? Is, is kind of the, the way to do it. So now, like, what's really nice is we don't really need too much. We can just go after this, you know? Okay. And then, can we get the elite crossbows anytime soon? All right, let's get you guys here. Little spring alds that could. If they can pop that, man, that's going to be just value city. Yeah, okay, he's not going to let that happen. He's too clever of a creature. Okay, uh, let's get you guys. Go get that stone back there so we can repair our keeps and stuff. And we don't have to, like, buy it, which I'll do for now, but... It's going to be tough. Yeah, he's going to find a way through for sure. It's only a matter of time. He actually hit that somehow. What did he hit that with? Huh, weird. Anyways, um, I do need to get those crossbows elite and get a regular marketplace. Uh, I need to go scout. I didn't scout the corner, so I didn't quite get vision of what I needed to see. Okay, some more of you. Let's see if we can pop you real quick. Hopefully I don't just like lose them when I look away for one second. Come on. Come on, baby. Get get it. Get it. Worth it. Worth. Worth. Okay. So we traded a spring for one of those. That's going to buy us a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah. We're about to have a whole lot of resources. So let's get the university. So get the uni so the, the roost can go to school and learn some cool stuff. You know, education is power, as they say. We're getting Streltsy mixed in, though. So if we do have, like, a big brute force fight, I think we're in a position to be pretty darn strong. Uh, I do need to get keeps on the sides, 100%. Okay, let's get the ranged upgrade for the boys. We now have four springs. He can make culverins, though, which is a little bit concerning, but... Yeah, you can see the walls of the old empire. Let's get some mining upgrades. Okay, so we know where the trade post is now. So we, we need to start playing the long game because Roos will eventually run out of money. Spearmen. I think elite spearmen are kind of in the books. I think we should because um, there are meat shields and the Streltsy are, are the shooters. We have way too much on wood. I guess it could be worse. So um, let's go over here. Do this. Do this and then we can set up another one of you. And we're going to go set up some markets up here, make some bombards, Streltsy, and uh, some more archery ranges, probably. Problem is, yeah, I guess we have enough anti-artillery. He's going through over there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to quite get there. So let's get you guys and uh, set up a, a mass wall here. We need another layer of walls to make sure he doesn't get through. He's for sure going to decap the sacred. All right, so we go here. The spring alts can chill here. We don't need them in our main army. But, you know, it takes a while to get through the Roost Towers, but he should get through pretty quick. Uh, we do not have enough for the Elite yet, which is a shame. There we go. So, Elite Spearman. He's going to decap it. Just Horsemen. And we have a pretty speedy army here. Well, not speedy, but enough to push these Horsemen back, probably. And if he comes through the middle, I have the Springs waiting, so we can, like, pop his artillery. Let's get on the Sacred Site and see if we can, like, actually keep that. Okay, looking good. Let's get you guys down here. Have you build this? Okay, so he's pushed off, and we actually maintain the sacred site, which is pretty strong. All right, boys. Good job. Now, does the onslaught come in the middle? I wonder. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. We want to get the uh, the spring loader. And anything else I want to do up here? Not really. Yeah, our food's pretty good. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. Let's finish this. Uh, we can do that. It's going to be a hard one to finish. Yeah, he sent a couple of loose horsemen in there, but I would wager he goes this way. No. He's pretty invested in going on this side, I think. If we can get a little bit more stone, we'll set up a keep here, too. That's going to force, like, a pretty substantial investment out of him. Okay. That about suits our army comp. And let's get this keep being built. We lose a lot of villagers there, but it's okay. We, we already have a really good economy. All right, so we're relatively safe. He's got his Doom Legion of, of Artillery blasting us. That's why we have Chad Skaya, though. I think we have to force a fight here now. 
And probably even, man, I, I maybe should have gone Horseman. We're not going to repair that, that's for damn sure. So let's go see if we can get our, our Spring Olds to reach him here. I would imagine he surges forward and has some sort of an answer for us. Yeah, okay, that, that's what I was expecting. So we're coming around here. The sides should be secured now. So now we just fight in the middle and hope, hope to trade well. Okay, let's do that, let's do that. This fast guy is being repaired. I think this Relti, give him the give him the dirty for sure. Let's make some just big artillery ball of doom. This fast guy is no joke. He's got a culverin. Oof, that's nasty. All right, let's uh, let's hope these these guys trade well. We need this Relti to just mow his army down. Basically, is is what needs to happen here. Okay, so let's get you guys build some towers up. Get these Relti in. It seems like the trading is going relatively well. Yeah, I think most of his front line is getting melted, and we're going to keep getting these these boys in there. Yeah, okay. So that, that went very good. We we just won that fight. So, like, if he can't physically push us back... Oh, no! Oh, no! Finish, finish, finish! Oh, that's so clutch over there, man. Okay, we need to get this Kelbrin. Okay, we just killed a Kelbrin, too. Come on, finish, finish, finish! Oh, dear God. Come on. Whew, that was close. Okay, so we need Spearmen. Uh, that's a little bit of a mistake here. I should have more uh, barracks. All right, good push. He's got horsemen. Oh, he's going for a raid. Interesting. This fast guy needs to be repaired if possible. Uh, I don't really have much defending my base, so let's get some Spearmen back there real quick. Well, let's kind of hopefully keep mowing through this. It's going to take him a minute to get through here. We have a second keep coming up, which I guess we can cancel. And then what we do is we set up a keep in the base. Yeah, to prevent raiding. Okay, I, I dig that. All right, and Strelty. Yeah, he still hasn't gotten through there yet. We can just build uh, basic towers here. What's going on here? We have 17 workers not mining anything. Let's get you up here. Okay, so we got a couple spearmen in the base, if I'm not mistaken. Enough to fight off like some shitty horsemen, probably. I don't know how upgraded he is, though. Uni, uh, we need gunpowder, but we're just so tight on money at the moment. All right. Start getting some trade going. More Shrelty. Come on, team. Move on up. Move on up. Let's keep that grind going. Let's keep that cost-effective trading. And actual traders as well. Okay, so those horsemen he's kind of forgotten about, which is good. Oh, uh, we can reseal this breach. He's actually getting some pushback against us, which I'm surprised about. I assumed that we would steamroll him, but... All right, let's get some boys. We win in two minutes. Ah, the villagers didn't quite get it. Okay, that's a shame. Come on, team. Chad's guy is being repaired. I don't know if it's worth the resources. Okay, now we have artillery. I don't want to just dive my spearmen because we need them to buffer the Strelty. Strelty do an okay job of, uh, of uh, pushing back those units. Oh my god. Look at him. He went for the mango. Yeah, we're getting a critical mass of guns, and guns defeat plate armor here, so I think that should be good for us. I would love to get the gunpowder upgrade, but I just uh, I, I can't afford to stop pouring units in. Okay, so let's uh, start blasting his artillery here, if he's just going to get it close. Yeah, he's got a lot of gold since he's Holy Romans, but the trading is just so favorable for my army. Okay, so we just killed all, all but one Treb. Now we can go back to focusing on his army here. Alright. It's been a good game, man. It's been really scrappy. Holy shit, are we going to win this? I think we are. Yeah, because we got, we got like, burning oil. His horsemen here, they could actually decap, so we should probably send a couple spears over and some Streltsy uh, up here. He's very hyper-focused in the middle, and he's lost all of his arty. Like, we could probably momentum push his base down now, too. Chad's guy is finished. Very nice. So, yeah, even if we got pushed back here, yeah, he's got um, mangoes now, which is smart. Is he trying to raid my base? Looks like he is. Yeah, that's not gonna it's not gonna win you the game. So we're back to Chad Skaya. Um, we have a keep here. Let's get spring alds and arrow emplacements. I don't know, he could go any number of directions. Let's uh, park some of you guys here. Let's get some springs. Okay, he moved into mango range, which is great for us. Yeah, I don't have horseman tech, so those could be a little bit problematic. But it looks like we've gotten them as well. Dude, he has so much gold. If this went like long to like a traditional type type game, dude, I would be in some danger. If I didn't have the sacreds. Oh, we did it, baby! Let's go! Woo! We got it. 
GG. We still we still got those conqueror skills. He was a conqueror player, so that was good. Um, man, that was crappy. Blasting hell march, yeah, dude. The hell march from Red Alert is so good. Hmm. Oh shit! I can build stone walls now. Oh, I totally forgot. That's right. I'm Roos with stone walls. Oh, I would have been doing that, man. I would have had all this shit stone walled up. Yeah, HRE eco is nuts. Like this food. Crazy. Let's go look at the villager count. I can't believe we pulled that. Yeah, that was that was a that was a good scrappy game. How long till AoE four gets a Warhammer mod? They won't because because Games Workshop would like karate chop that in the neck. Like, dude, if if someone made a proper like Warhammer like base building RTS game, that that would be so popular. If it was in Warhammer Fantasy, you have no idea how popular that would be. I mean, we can't, we have an RTS in Total War Fantasy. I mean, just do it in forty k, I guess. Like, give us a proper. I mean, I guess we've had Dawn of Wars. I don't know, man. Why can't why can't Relic just build like an Age of Empires but with 40k stuff? They've already worked with Games Workshop. That was the least meta Roost game ever, was it? Okay, I don't know what the Roost meta is, so <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, let's look at the villager count. Oh yeah, he had us beat on that. How about resources? Oh my god, he crushed us on resources. We just traded efficiently. He had more everything except stone. That's the power of the Strelzi, man. They trade upwards really well. Have you heard of Tempest Rising? Yeah, Nakamura, I did. That's like the new Red Alert RTS game, yeah. I saw it. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a try, Nakamura. Uh, all right. Let's play again. We'll do we'll do uh, another game here. Probably call it a day after that, unfortunately. The, the FFA, we, we literally were getting sound bugged. So, yeah, we were just getting screwed. Which is really, really frustrating. But, yeah, this is probably our last one. So, we'll do something fun. I don't know what... I think the Spearman Rush was kind of cool, like the double Spearman Rush with the Ram on the side. I don't know if that really affected him in any way, but I mean, it did lead to a win, I guess, so. Dude, the Roost Stone Walls look like Roost. No, they just look the same. Yeah, they just look like regular Stone Walls. There's nothing fancy about them. But yeah, Roost can build Stone Walls. Definitely not Spearman Ram Rush with High Trade House and Spaskaya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it worked. Right? Because like every HRE player goes stables. They're just like, oh, I saw Beastie Cutie do that. I'm just going to copy pasta that. Right? So so then like you can expect a stable like every time from HRE. So if you open with like spear pressure, like, you're going to be kind of awkward, I think. I don't really know. The ghost of Dawn of War 2 came back to haunt us. I know it did. The next Warhammer stream is tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a campaign. So uh, I'm thinking, I don't know, Valkia or something. Maybe I'll start a head-to-head -to -head tomorrow, uh, although I'd rather wait for lunch for that. Maybe just PvP games or like a show match or something. We'll have the good times rolling. We'll have the good times rolling. So pretty close to Diamond 3, and then we just get Conqueror after that. I'll, I'll for sure get it before the season's over. Yeah. It's just going to take a little time. Take a little bit of time. I'll probably play offline. I want to get the Trident. Because even though the I've noticed the H community definitely slowing down a little bit when they when they get some new saves in I think that's going to change everything. So yeah, Tempest Rising looks fun. I saw their uh, it looks good. The gameplay looks fun. We'll have that, and then of course we'll have Storm Stormgate. Stormgate does look cool. Um, I was a little like the Stormgate trailer kind of was like that was the one thing I was kind of like Ooh, it wasn't that wasn't that cool. It could have been way better. I mean, just go look at how epic any of Total War's trailers are, and then look at like Stormgate's trailer, and you're just like ooh. Yeah, could have done something a little better there, I think. Yeah, some PvP. I mean, I figure there's enough people doing campaigns, but there's not a lot of PvP streams happening, so I think I think we could we could do that and make it happen. How do you build the same building so fast? You hold down shift. Hey, it's Arakin. Aren't you one of our homies here? I think so. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, let's go with let's go with the deli shop, baby. Let's 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 give him some some Dumbo. Oh wait, no. Are we good? This is ranked, right? Okay, that was that was a weird bug. We're gonna go for jelly. Do you think I was watching, dude, I was watching last night. I just went through all of Creative Assembly's like trailers, and I was like, dude, these are so good when you compare them to other modern games. Like Creative Assembly, like the love they put into their trailers, man, like the Blood for the Blood God trailer was so epic. I was like, dude, that's so good. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna go jelly shop. Delhi was one of my old mains. A little bit rusty, but I think we can we can do it. Good luck, have fun to our friend Iraq in here. And uh, let's do it. Yeah, Abbasid are strong, dude. They're really good. 
The fact that they get the food de discount makes it so they can swarm you super well. All right, so let's get down here. Oh, talk about like prime time, right? Uh, you know what? We actually don't need that. So let's, uh, well, the second scout, I guess, is nice for just battlefield utility and stuff. And also um, for Jelly, having a second scout isn't terrible. You too. Because you can um, use them to like contest the middle and stuff. All right, let's get the wheelbarrow. Oh my God, and, like sheep. Dude, like this is like literally one mill will we'll just like cover two food sources. I don't need to move for like a long, long time. He's going to be awakening the Abbasid trade. Is that what you think? Yeah, dwarves are, somebody in chat was asking, dwarves are pretty bad in domination, sadly. Um, I'm hoping they get some love. Domination, if domination games are longer, then I think dwarves will be better. Because they'll have more time to push you off objectives and their their durability will really shine over a longer game. Unless you're playing Slanesh and then you just get shit on and put in a trash can. But, you know, it, uh, it'll, it'll help the Dowie out. So we want to do this. He runs close to the TC, but is going to probably escape, I would wager. So we need to get like two on the um, two on lumber here. Wonder if he's gonna tower rush me. Is he gonna be the the tower rush enjoyer? Tower rushing versus me is a strong tactic because it does tilt me a little bit. So it's a good way to get the psychological you know punch against me there. Yeah, creative assemblies trailers are just have just been so good. Like all the different chaos champions ones have been really fun. I, I, even though they're short, it's like they're still really cool. All right, so we're gonna get two on lumber. Heading up here. I don't really know what like the best deli opening is nowadays. We'll just kind of wing it and see what happens. But you want to always scout the sides on Altai with deli and see what's cracking. Yeah, the Ogre song was epic, man. Whoever they hired to do that was, just did such a good job. Oh, almost forgot forestry. It's been a while. All right. So, yeah, now we're basically just comfortably on our way here. He's playing... What is he playing? A Basset. Okay. So, we don't need to, you know, deny a game or do any of those like really fancy tactics here, which is good. Sacred. One Sacred's pretty far up there. Yeah, it's a ways off. That is a ways off. One, two. Pretty good. We see the Abbasid base. How about we do not donate sheep to them? Let's uh, not donate sheep to our, our good friend here. And looking good. So what do we... Abbasid are going to go camel archers, right? Yeah, camel archers are a bit of a pain. So I'm trying to think how, like, what... Unit composition will actually be good against them. Horsemen are decent against Camel Archers because they're ranged. So you can get like that that work done there. We've got good scouting on the map so far. We see see mostly everything. Um, we'll have enough for the building here in a second. The Delhi shop cometh. And we'll set up that in just a second. Okay, yeah, so we just need one more turn in here. All right, so let's go right up the middle. And you guys need to turn in here. Good, good. Set that up. Perfect. And that is going to get us to the next age. And you, buddy, can just come in and uh, turn 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 in these sheep right now. Yeah, talk about like a good good food so like site. Like we're just so cozy here. Should do the Tower of Victory. I accidentally did that the other day. I was so sad. It totally changed the way Delhi plays. Ooh, nice man. I feel like we've really crushed it on sheep today. But you know, Abbasid are um. Or a berry bush faction anyways so you with delhi you only need like two on gold really when you get to the next age that's that's usually it yeah he actually did pretty good on cheap too okay so it could be worse so spearman uh, i don't know i guess we try and see what military tech he opens with and we just like archer horseman could work because archers will camel can't yeah but then if he goes horses we're in a little bit of danger so i don't know let's go see if we can scout his base and figure it out Abbasid tech pretty quickly too nowadays. It's a, it's a whole different world. Okay, so we're here. We have our scout. We have his lord of sheep. And we definitely need to transition to wood a little bit harder. Because we're going to need to build towers and wood, wood intensive units here with Delhi. Because really, the, I think the only competitive way to play Delhi is to play sacreds. Like, I think everything else is just so suboptimal compared to what you can accomplish with sacreds that, you know, it is what it is. Sheep wheelbarrows are a sign of a successful man. Yeah, yeah. Sheeps are... Wheelbarrow is for sure the most rewarding tech, and what's great about playing Delhi is we get it for free, so life, uh, life's treating us quite well there. Okay, so we're going to have to switch the order here of these. We have good wood production now. The berry lords continue on. Let's get into the back of the base. Try and get a blacksmith up to get those upgrades coming. And let's see what he's up to back here. Let's see what upgrades he wants. All right, I, I love going spearmen, but I feel like they just get—they're just gonna get wrecked. Okay, so he's for sure going two TC. 
Uh, so let's get you. Let's go ahead and cancel this. Get Sanctity in this. Other upgrades, other upgrades. All right, so we've gotten all the important upgrades. I have not seen what military tech he's going yet, but I think we're just gonna open up with some um, some spearmen because they can build like walls and I don't know, man. Could be a mistake, but I just like, I love my spearmen. They're just, uh, they're just the way, so. Especially like on choke point maps where I can build walls with them. Like that's one. So spearmen horsemen, I guess is a good comp, right? I think that's like a classic one. All right, so let's get more dudes over there. We could preemptively build some towers, but Abbasid can build cheap ramps, so not too excited about that prospect. We'll get a stable going. Um, he's second age now. It's basically just, you know, the Sanctity game now. All right. All right, so yeah, we'll go Spearman Horseman. That seems like a good combo. And the wheelbarrow is finished now, so Delhi getting, you know, some nice, nice little eco buffs. Uh, do I want to respond to that? Yeah, we'll pull our guys back. Okay, so they're chilling. We want to get a blacksmith going like as soon as possible. These guys are going to come back and chase them off. The dreaded scout harass is, is so troll. I love it. Just such a staple. All right, so let's sneak you over here and over here, and we can preemptively kind of set up on those. And now we should be good to start making units and droves. All right, so we got the scholar coming out. Scholars are going to be ready to heal the army. Get all the upgrades coming along. You know what? Screw it. We can go build some towers here. I think it's going to be pretty good. All right, we'll just chase with you. Should keep him at bay. Um, Sanctity is going to be finishing in 56 seconds. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let's get one Spearman over there. He's going to go build a wall. And one sec. All right, we got to queue that up. And then we, what we do is we get efficient production going. And it's, it's as the name would infer, it's certainly quite efficient. All right, so how long do we have? We have another 36 seconds. So let's get you. And now we jump these guys out. Go up to the middle. Horseman has arrived, and we get one of you going here. And we get one of you going over here as well. This one's really far away. The dreaded wolf will not give up chase. It certainly will not. And, you know, we don't have to win with this, right? It's more about, like, getting the gold. All right. He's going to show up with an army soon, I would wager. Although, considering he went 2TC, it could be a little bit slower to the party. So let's wall this shit off. That is the game plan. We're still chasing here, so this is going to be a little bit of unintentional scouting on my part. Okay. Looking good. Should see what his army looks like. I mean, we're going to get, like, a lot of a lot of action here for sure. Okay, so that's being captured. That is the good stuff. And then let's get you over here. Yeah, so we just hold these sacreds. And, you know, we, we, we will press pressure behind this as well. But that's why I like the early spearmen, because they can do exactly what you guys just saw over there. All right, so let's get those berry bushes. We have the sacreds being taken. I mean, he's got to have, like, some sort of a big momentum push going here in a minute. I like to just keep the scholars in the, uh, in the runes here, too. We're going to get all three of these, man. All right. All right, so let's get some more scholars coming out now that we have a little bit of extra gold, so we can do this. And we can push up and, like, kind of harass and do his lines here. See what his army looks like. You don't want to be passive, right? Like you wanna you wanna always be always be given the problems. Alright, so that's being taken. That's good. We can get that set up and then we can get a tower over here. And cool. And we can just build a marketplace to balance our economy with all this extra resources we're gonna have. Let's go see what it looks like here. Yeah, he's got some bills. We can force some uh force some garrisoning here. Uh, let's get that. So can you fit all of them in? We'll see. Yeah, looks like he can. Okay. So we're just trying to idle a little bit. You know, idle some of the goodness. Uh, towers over here are secured. We did lose a couple units to his TC. But now now at least we have that intelligence, right? And let's uh, have the horseman chase that character. It'll eventually get it. Oh, look at him, dude. He's, he's causing mad problems over here. Let's go get you here. All right. So I'm a potato. Need to build houses. One, two, three. Uh, food sources should be okay. Very good. And now we can do this. So build that and then build this. That should secure it. We'll see what he decides to do. We do have the sacred site, so quite a bit of gold. All right, so let's get uh, arrow slit here. 
We got 10 workers chilling. We'll get you guys on the uh, the wild hunts. And now we can just try and go to the next age here. And get Dumbos and, you know, that's essentially how we win it, right? Alright, so let's get you guys in the tower. Get the arrow emplacement. Get a little bit of lumber going. And now we just go castle with all this uh, excess resources that we have. And we just hit our food very, very hard. And uh, let's go ahead and get another one of these. Good. I wonder how he's going to approach this. Like, is he going to... Huh. So let's do that. Do that. And then do this. And do this. The Great Wall of Delhi cometh. Take him to the Delhi shop, baby. All day. So, yeah. Right now we're going to go for Dumbos for sure. Um, we can build a gatehouse here. And then what we can do is we can wall this back here. We want to just make it like as annoying as possible, right? Very, very close to the next age. Very, very close. We could actually buy our way there. Let's grab you guys, do this, and we can get compounded the defender. Which is better if you're like playing this kind of sacred play style, in my experience. Alright, so we do have this. Compounded the defender will let us get some uh, some real, real strong stone action. Alright, so they're going to seal that. And then we can also do another layer of walls after it. Let's go do a little raid into the base with some horsemen. Just kind of keep it simple. Um, as far as the tech goes in the next age, we're going to need that for Dumbos. And we're going to need some men at arms too. Alright, let's gather you guys around. That's looking good. Let's get some scholars heading over here. Go check out his berry economy. Very good, so do a little bit of raiding. And the new age has begun, so let's get you. Let's get you guys here. Can jump you out, move you up here. And we want to start grabbing relics. Because that's how we play the long game if, we, if we're if we not able to quite kill him. Right? So, um, let's gather some stone with you guys. Relic. Back to the base. Let's get you. Grab the relic. And back to the base. Scholar man. Relic and back to the base. And uh, you need to come up and try and get us this one if we, if we can. Alright, so looking good. And now we need to just get some Dumbos if we can. Because that will thwart pretty much any push, right? Looks like the boys never finished their their walls here, which is very disappointing. Uh, he obviously gets to the next age. Okay. But we do have a Sacred Victory soonish, which is kind of fun. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he just noticed the walls over here. That's pretty funny. Thankfully, we do have the uh, stone emplacement there, so it should be okay. Uh, Dumbo requires more food. So I could just start spamming out men-at-arms, but I'm just kind of trying to be real, real risky here. Okay, let's build another one of these. Can we get that Dumbo? Our food is actually quite poor at the moment. We're spread out very thin, but I'm going for the stone victory with the compound of the defender. It's it's going to be really nice if we can get it. All right, so Dumbo's on the way. He is he is all business. Let's go ahead and garrison a scholar in there. It looks like we already did. Could set up another TC. Um, is he going to come for those side points? Let's get. I know we had a couple of bills over there. We had them, but they they must have they must have uh, withered away into shadow. Let's go do this. I don't think he's going to go for the top side. I don't think so. All right, let's get some you. Men at arms. Let's make a little gatehouse so we can get through. And we'll just keep gathering. Getting a keep in the middle will be pretty brutal for sure. Okay, the first Dumbo has arisen from the deeps. I think he's going to get this. Damn, we're not going to get there quick enough. I mean, I could run some dudes over, but I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be enough here. All right, so we need more military production. So let's just get barracks here. Barracks and Dumbo feels pretty good. Oh, how big is that army? It's mostly scouts. He's got some lancers. Can we hold this somehow? I mean, maybe with the Dumbo? I don't think so. These guys were just a little bit too late to the party, so we'll just gather some stone in the meantime. Yeah, he's got like camels and stuff. With the elephant on the way. Yeah, see, the elephant is here chilling. So I didn't bring it out quick enough. So let's go ahead and build some walls down the side here, I think, just to prevent, prevent a run by from that army. It's good that we did force that, though. All right, let's get some stone. The stone is just so OP with compound of the defender. We can even build another um, another TC in a second. 
to really kind of further our uh, map control here. So we got three relics. I believe there's some guys coming back with more. Let's go get this and then see if we can sneak away with it. Yeah, we'll be back for that. We for sure will. Stone walls are being built. Hopefully they can actually finish it. Um, you know, while his army's over there, let's just go into his main base. Right? Just get in there and just cause some problems. Let's get the burning oil. You guys can go for this. We have more eco upgrades, which I forgot to do as we did tech up. Maybe he goes this way. I'm not sure, but we'll we'll just go towards his TC. We'll dive it, you know. Yeah, it looks like he's staying over there, so that's good. Um, all right, let's go get some houses set up. One, two, three, four. Seems fine. Nope, we don't want you in there. Can you jump out, please? Thank you. And perfect. And then we can jump you in there. Outstanding. All right, so we're heading towards the main base now. His army's a little bit out of position, right? So I'm hoping that'll be enough. And then we can go do this and get another scholar hustling over there in a moment. Let's go here and here. Yeah, I, I think his army's a little bit better than mine, but we should be able to get a little bit of eco damage here, at least drive him back, like idle him for a moment. All right, so yeah, the keep is gonna come up. Compound of the defender going bananas. Um, we need to get some bills here. Set up the dreaded stone wall so we can't like go this direction. And then we do it over here as well. Oh, I hate these like, yeah, those positions. Okay, so yeah, he, he obviously was able to move and re respond to the push pretty well. And let's get a second TC. We can just do it down here to try and get that late game economy to catch up with him. Because if we get that plus relics, I think he's just dead in the water basically. All right, so looking good. We got to keep coming up, which is nice. Let's get you and he does have rams, but keeps keeps can you know fend off the rams for a period of time. Probably gonna need some crossies too. All right, great. Upgrades. I think I slacked a little bit on those, but it's okay. Nobody's perfect. Scholars, let's get you guys over here to go capture that sacred site. And do we have the walls being built yet? No, he's 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 working on it. They're hustling, man. They're hustling. All right, so that's good. Let's go jump on berries. We do have the double TC now, or at least it's going to be coming up in a moment. Mm-hmm. We got the walls. Things are looking pretty good over here, honestly. He's pushing up with a single ram, but he is going to run into a keep. Potentially even two if we decide to you know, buy our way to one, which I think is a good idea. All right. So crossbows, you guys come up here. Compound of the defender OP. How are the walls looking on this side? That's right, the spearmen can build those. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, so you just go build those walls, please. So yeah, he's looking like he wants to come up and party. I didn't go too hard into the Dumbo. We just got one for like early, a little bit of early dominance here. So he, that's funny, he actually walled me out there. Yeah, isn't that cool? But I mean, we should have a pretty good advantage in terms of our, uh, our stuff. We got, you know, some garrison scholars here. Let's get some uh, some siege equipment up on the front. And we can even go imp here, right? Potentially. We'll get through those walls eventually. And then this is, actually isn't sealed here, so we need to make sure it is. All right, how are we looking? Yeah, we got the double TC. We have map control. Abasa don't have like a really crazy late game or anything. I mean, trade is the one thing he can do really, really well. Um, we'll keep you back to the main army. But we got like a full stranglehold on this map right now. Okay, so let's wall it up. We're gonna maybe need to press the lanes. Set up some towers just to kind of make it a little bit more stressful for him. I wonder what his army looks like. I only have one Dumbo, so it's not like I'm some like colossal tyrant, right? Hmm, tricky, tricky. So the team is moving up. We see him coming with a decent army here, but let's move over there. And uh, you guys just get on stone again. Move into his base. Like every time he... Oh, oh, did we actually get the stone wall partially finished? We did. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, see, he's torching it down. LOL. But little does he know there's a keep there, and uh, he's very, very exposed in the front. Very, very exposed here. All right, so we're going to get in, start punishing some bills, and that's going to kind of force him back. And we don't have the sacred timer on quite yet, but we will get through there eventually. And yeah, and now he's taking a fair amount of eco damage. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's, that's not good for him. All right, so we got another... Oh, he just lost like 15 villagers. Oh, maybe even 20. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like pressure on the map, right? And that's kind of how Jelly has to play is you have to like pressure many aspects of the game, like sacred and and uh, whatever. So the two scholars are just waiting to get that. Let's actually have these guys go help a little bit. 
they can head over there and do their thing. All right, so let's pull back. We can do some more towers here. We can get Spring Alden placements and make them into stone. Just take further map control. Next up, we need to wall off his corner so we can't get the market trade. I think that's the direction we need to go here. Of course, I'm showing my my nature of just wanting to spam infantry armies because that's my favorite way to play. He did get one relic. I think just one. Okay, so we're almost in. His army should have to come back at this point. Uh, everything's looking good here. We have the side, which is going to be secured. I am the Lord of Supply Block, so it's only pertinent that I do get Supply Blocked. Move in there again. See what he wants. You guys grab this. You guys go and... Uh, Seal that, if possible. So I see his army. It's pretty decent. I, I wouldn't want to fight it, like, right now. I think it just keeps securing my advantage and trolling him like this, and and we're uh, we're in good shape. You know, because I have map control. I have, like, I have really good positioning, so... Yeah, he see, he doesn't want it. He's got a lot of Lancers, but we have Spears, right? So, yeah, he's, he's setting up the trade network at this point. Okay, so food is finished here. Food is finished in the main base. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on this. So we got the sacreds. Uh, let's build the walls. Nice. We can also build a stone wall tower after that. So we can build one like this to, you know, just kind of shoot it, whatever. And this is going to finish. So after that, we can continue building layers of stone walls up on the sides. We So Delhi can't eat boar. So we, we just have no no options there. How is it? I thought I built some houses there. I guess it wasn't enough. Okay, yeah, he's, he's like torching things down here. We have the dreaded stone wall standoff. And every time he pushes the side, I just push up the middle. That's like, that's like just formulaic. That's just, that's just how we're going to do it. Um, you know, if we get enough stone too, guys, we could actually just plop a keep in the front of his base. He's building a siege workshop, which means he doesn't have siege probably. So, ooh, yeah, I think this is the time to do it. Delhi's really good at doing this with Compound of the Defender. Like, really, really good. So now this is like a, a ticking clock for him, right? If he doesn't like stop me here and I get this keep up, he probably loses the game. Okay, so let's just defend. Uh huh. Elephants. We have a good army, but the keep is on our side, right? Like, yeah, mostly Cav against Spear, and we also have the the Deli Shop elephants. You can see he's trying to die villagers, but I have a whole bunch right there. So, uh, the plan though right now is to switch into farm economy. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is GG, I think. He's not going to be able to recover from this. And we'll start doing another one too, just to, just to flex that we got the resources. So one keep is up. Uh, he does have some rams coming in. And we are legitimately just out of food at this point. So let's uh, get back here. Start setting up some uh, farm economy here. Yes, precious. Give me the farms. Are we going to get the second one up? We might actually. Uh, he's actually fighting very well, all things considered. Like, much better than... Oh, he, look, he's got villagers building proxy siege workshops under my keeps. So what we could do is we could pull more vills to uh, to finish that keep. That's going to be really tough for him to remove. Come on, baby. Come on, elephants and spears. He's taking big casualties, but so am I, I guess. I only have 69 villagers right now. That's tricksy. Okay, let's get it going. He's got a treb here. Let's see if we can focus it down. Okay, you know, maybe I maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's in a stronger position than I thought. His eco could just be crazy, right? The burning oil is doing some serious work, though, and the entire time Sacred Timer is, is going, so... Okay, so we got the keep up. Okay, let's get another keep, like, right here. We're just gonna just keep rush this, this gentleman here. Ooh, Imperial Age. I am actually in danger. Okay, let's uh, take down the rams if we can. Thankfully, a lot of his units are just kind of marching to their demise. Uh, let's set you up. Our food economy low-key sucks. Let's get the elephants to dive the treb. Maybe they're going to be able to get it. Hopefully, we can save these keeps. Yeah, a lot of his units are just dying to the, dying to those. So the elephants want to dive this if possible. This is all buying time though for the uh, for the sacred victory, right? Come on, elephants, get it. Get the picks, baby. We got the repairs. Okay, elephant. Maybe maybe you got a little bit too crazy here. We still have six minutes, and homeboy is Imperial Age. That's actually really tough. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can get through there, maybe. Okay, maybe the keeps were a little bit ambitious. I don't know. They, they're doing okay. It's certainly keeping them busy. 
DK. Delhi just doesn't go Imperial Age though, guys. It's just not. It's just not in our. Uh, it's not in Delhi's DNA. Because it's just. It's way too slow. We need to uh, stop that side. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have much army. Okay, to be fair. Um, what is he mo mainly making? Camel riders and men at arms and crossbowmen. Okay. So let's head over here. We need to get siege workshops and start punishing this. Like he's trading across map, which is how he's going to stay in the game here. Okay, let's do this. Those keeps will buy us a couple minutes, I guess, because it's going to take him some time to get them down, and, you know, he's taking constant casualties as things pop out. Yeah, bills are just getting shot and losing random camels. Huh. Very good. Am I a pro player or a noob? I'm somewhere in between. I'm, like, conqueror player. I'm usually pretty decent, but I wouldn't say I'm, like, at anywhere near the level of a pro player, so... Um... Archers, I guess, are pretty decent here, although he's making a lot of knights. Yeah, you can see the two keeps are really, really just putting a thorn in the side. And if I can get, like, a siege operation here to blast through these walls, then um, maybe, just maybe, we're okay. Let's get another keep in the middle. It's going to take him a while to get through. Um, he could do something on the side, although let's just make that, like, impossible for him by just building this. And let's get the trebs here. Get you guys on some lumber. The Dumbo seemed good, but we just need bodies at this point. Alright, let's get stone walls. Oh, he's got a bombard cannon. Let's see if I can kill it with my, my jacket here. Ooh, man, we're starting to see the Imperial tech coming out, right? This is where it's getting real messy. Because we're going to have to just hold in the middle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some springs in the meantime and uh, grab one of our scholars if we have one. And put him in the siege workshop to get the faster production. Alright, so... Yeah, we can get some spring towers. Start blasting through the walls here. Uh-huh. And whatever, just archers. Just We just need things here. We just need the things. Looks good. Looks good. Let's get you shooting here. We'll have some men-at-arms to rush through in a moment. Oh, boy. This is very sketchy, guys. This is very sketchy. Because he's going to be coming in like a wrecking ball in the next couple minutes, and uh, holding is going to be very precarious. Although he is losing villagers, they're just getting popped here, which is really, really quite nice. Okay. Get some horsemen to press on the side. Springs. Springs. Spring alds for the spring ald god is basically what we need. We're going to get through these walls, and then I have a couple men at arms who can go over there and troll him for sure. We do have a shit ton of static defenses, though. So he's going to have to, he's going to have to do his thing. Uh, okay, so that's almost done. He is getting the wrath of the Delhi Towers there. Yeah, this guy, he's a strong player, man. This is this is a good scrap. Okay, so yeah, this side is just not going to happen. It would take him too long. He's got three minutes left to do this, and I just have, like, Keep City here, which is so nice. Speaking of, I think he would like another Keep. Let's, let's make sure he gets it. Okay. So that's about to finish. The dreaded towers are doing it. Uh-huh. All right, let's go do this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wasn't watching. Oh, okay. He's going to get run into Helm's Deep, though. I don't think he knows the depths of my insanity here as it pertains to my static defenses. <laughs> this is the FFA player coming through in me here. Nice. Nice. Look at this. Can we get a wall here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The dreaded wall rush. Come on. Give it to me. Okay. We have enough spring alts to like own anything that comes through there. Let's make some tower elephants. And you guys, uh, we need to update that. Okay. Turn specialty gatekeeping. Hell yeah. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm keeping the gates. <laughs> this is so troll, dude. I love this. I love this haggard ass like side rush we have. Oh my God. That's so funny. What the hell's that? Is it shooting at a wolf? That's the weirdest shit. I'm telling you what. All right, let's build that, just in case he finds a way through there. Okay, what is our eco at? 102, and that's plenty. Okay, so we're getting some walls set up. The, the wolves have betrayed me. They've joined the side of the uh, Abbasid dynasty here. All right, set you up. And change the control groups. We have another keep coming up. This guy has... Yeah, see? He's going for the side now. Little does he know. The insanity continues over here. 
Oh, oh no, it doesn't. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, I might have thrown. Oh, that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it takes. All right, well, we got to go, stat. So you guys, uh, let's delete this. It's going to take him a minute, thankfully. Okay, so now we can, we can like, hopefully stop this. Oh man, this could be bad news, Bears. How the hell did he get in here? I guess there's a, a side route here. Okay, let's do this. This. Okay, we need to stop this. I mean, he's gonna dive the middle probably, but I think we have enough here. I think we can I think we can salvage this. Because we, we can get him off the sacred, I think, with the spears. And we never had the guys finish it. Okay. Great. So this could be where the fighting takes place. Okay, cool. So that was thwarted. He's got 51 seconds. Is he going on this side? No. Let's get the Palace of the Sultan here. Might as well go in. All right, so let's get you guys heading over here. How the hell did he get in? Yeah, that's the question. That was very sketch. That was very sketchy. GG. Compound, yeah. The compound of the defender is what did it. That, that let me build like 50 keeps. Yeah, okay, so we're sealing it now. Uh, I guess I didn't really notice this. Woo, Delhi, baby, let's go. Yeah, we got the old stranglehold, the Delhi Anaconda. We had the uh, we had the walls of doom up here in the top. Oh, hole in the wall gang returns all day, man, all day. Oh, that was close. That was close. We still got it, though. He was starving. His army was probably really weak, too. Yeah, because the keep rush that we did, like, yeah, it really crushed. His army was very small. Ours was quite a bit bigger. We could we could have beaten his Imperial army. He only had one cannon. <laughs> we had, like, ten keeps here. Because here's the thing, guys. We can build keeps all day because we're getting uh, four relics and we're getting triple sacred with sanctity. So we're just, like, bathing in gold. So I could just keep buying stone all day. Yeah, that was fun. All right, guys. That was a good one to end on. Uh, that one felt pretty good. I'm a little bit worn out. Got to take a, a quick break here. It's getting real hot in, hot in town. And uh, I do appreciate you all, though. That was a lot of fun. We'll continue to engage. It's not going to be quite as frequent uh, because of the new Total War stuff that's going on. And since that's kind of my main jam. But um, I will, of course, be doing at least a couple of age streams a week. So don't you guys worry. The FFA will continue. Hopefully Relic can fix this lag issue. It seems like there's a big sound bug kind of issue in big games. So if he delayed Imperial and stayed on making units, maybe, yeah. I think you have a point. I think he could have. He could have. But I was pretty entrenched, though. Like the keep, the haggard keep rush. I don't know how good that was, but I guess he lost a lot of vills too. Yeah, like his eco looks thin. Okay, we're diamond three now, so we just need to win like two or three more games, and we're back to conquer um, where we were last season. Let's look at the the economy and timeline and unit count. Yeah. Okay. So check that out. So the keep rush. As, as much as I thought it wasn't good, when we keep rushed him, it looks like uh, he lost a lot of villagers, I think. I think that's when that happened, just about. Yeah, we overtook him pretty hard in the villager count. He was pretty big, and then he went down to like, you know, 80, 70, and I surpassed him. So my eco was strong there, too. Yeah, Delhi, you can't fight them straight up, though. You have to play the sacreds. You have to do that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. If you enjoy Age, do drop a like here on the video. It lets me know if, that people are still interested in watching it. And uh, aside from that, thank you guys all for joining. It was super fun. We had some really good sweaty 1v1s as well as uh, a cool FFA. Unfortunately, we did have the uh, drop though. But uh, but yeah, that's it. GG well played. Appreciate you all. You guys are the best. We'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves. And that is going to be it for today.